Microphones are on. Screens are on. I think we're live. Hello. Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us for... Well, I'm quite excited about it because this is one of the hottest games that has come out at Essen this year. But in fact, this game was being demoed at UK Games Expo. Uh, and everybody who played it there has said how fantastic it is. I've not played this game yet. This is Kootenai Horror, uh, published by Czech Games Edition. And tonight, we're all going to be playing it for the first time. I read through the rules yesterday. Thank you very much, Peter. Peter, one of the designers is in the chat. I don't know if the other designers are in the chat. But Peter's definitely uh, in the chat. So this is not a sponsored video. Um, so I've not done the amount of preparation that I would normally do. And Peter's here to make sure I play the game correctly. As I say, I read through the rules yesterday. I've not played it. Um, none of us have played it. So hopefully we get the rules right. If you spot anything that we get wrong, certainly during me teaching you how to play the game, let me know. But also if we get anything wrong during the game as we're playing it, let me know that uh, as well. So because it's not sponsored, I do rely on the support of the Patreon campaign to enable me to create videos like this. Uh, so a big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters for your support. And if you want to support me on Patreon, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. Also, even though this video is not sponsored, Check Games Edition are kindly giving away a copy of this game. Not this copy. This is mine. Get your hands <laughs> on. Um, but they are going to be giving away a copy of this game. And to enter that contest... I'm going to put the link in the chat right now using this little code thing. I'm hoping this is going to work. A link should appear in the chat right now, and I will put it in the description of this video. Hopefully it will appear. There you go. Uh, it is a Google form. All you need to do is you need to give me your name, your email address. <laughs> yeah, get on there. But you won't be able to answer it right now because right, you need okay. to put in your name, your email address, and there are going to be some questions. And thank you very much, for Peter, for putting those questions in there. You are not going to know the answers to those questions until the end of this video. So there are various questions on that form and the answers to which 42 will be happening in this video. Well, you'll be able to know one of them in advance. Um, but yeah, thank you very much to Check Games Edition for supporting me by giving a copy of the game away. I can't remember when I said I was going to do the draw. I think maybe in two weeks time or maybe three weeks time. I don't know. But if you're watching this video live, get that form open and fill in the answers uh, as we go along. And if you're watching this video back afterwards, then yeah, the questionnaire is there. So off we go. Are we already? Have I done all of the things? I haven't introduced you to, have I? You haven't cut to us, have you guys? <laughs> Fraser's here. Hi. We were discussing when you were last on the stream and neither of us can remember. I think we were doing, the very last one I've done was, was the crew sequel. Back I in the July, life. Deep Sea Adventure. Yeah. I can't remember. I, I can't remember the last time Dan was on the stream. Maybe it was three hours yeah. ago. <laughs> Whatever it was, it didn't go well. Yeah. I know that for a fact. Right. So, Kuna Hora. Silver has been discovered in central Bohemia. Miners flock to the site, turning a sleepy Czech valley into a 14th century boomtown. Players take charge of wealthy families, each with influence in various guilds. They use their wealth to expand the mines and build the city of Kuna Hora. The economy changes as the city grows, driven by the choices the players make. To win, you will need to adapt to the price fluctuations and keep your eyes open for opportunity. Okay. So what we're going to be doing tonight is I'm going to be doing a full teach of the game first. Then we're going to be doing the playthrough. And then at the end, we will talk about our thoughts on it. Uh, I will get all of those parts timestamped. So if you're watching this video back afterwards and you just want to skip ahead to our thoughts, you will be able to do so. Right presumably then. we shouldn't be too rude to the designer if they're on the... Oh, if we don't like yeah. the game. To be honest, <laughs> I would be very, very surprised yeah. if we don't all like this game yeah. based on everything that I've heard about it. But yes, if we all hate the game, then I, I think there might be some accidental problem with the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we won't. I'm sure we won't. Now, I've done most of the setup already, but I'm just going to roughly explain what we've got. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the three to four player side of the board. You use the other side for a two player game. Mm -hmm. This is the round tracker, and this is the two to three player side of the board. Okay. Four player on the other side. I think I've got it right. Yeah. So we have six rounds in a two and three player game. The other side of the board for four players, you have five rounds. Okay. Okay. Um, we have a tax counter here. So this tracks the rounds. This is a tax counter that will go up as the game goes on. We're trying to score victory points. These are our victory point counters, which stack very, very nicely there. Uh, we have a town hall board here. Um, and if I just press the right button, I think it's that one. 
Yay! Uh, so what we've got is we've actually got six different colours of guilds. Okay. Uh, and you can tell them by the colour, but also the little icon there. So we've got six different guilds. Each of these stacks has got four buildings in it. Mm -hmm. The one on the bottom has a little mark in the corner. Yeah. The rest of them were shuffled and placed on top. And they were randomly placed in these six locations here. Okay. We also have public buildings. Now, the public buildings, there are three ones with the green patrician on. They go there. Three ones with the silver patrician, they go there. And three ones with the yellow patrician, they go there. That's the town hall board. And I'll tell you this now before I forget later on. Strategy tip, do not build one of these first. Okay. If you do, you will sit here and have a miserable two hours. Okay. So it doesn't say that in the rule book, but Peter has told me, whatever you do, don't build one of these first. It won't work. We also have three public buildings with the red patrician on. They will come into the game after round three, which is why they're over there. Okay. Um, we've also need to uh, set up the Kutna Horror board. We've done that. Mine setup cards. Do you want to shuffle them and just sure. pick one at random? That is going to tell us how we set up the mine, which I think is this button here. Yes. I'm getting my buttons right. So pick one of those at random. Okay, and if we look at that, we can see that for a three to four play game, we use this configuration, mm. right? So what we do is we shuffle these four tiles here, we place them on the indicated spaces. Mm. Okay, and then we flip them over. The number of stars on the tile uh, will be used at the end of the game to determine the value of that row. So we can see from this setup, this top row is currently not worth any stars. This row is worth two stars. This okay. row is worth one star. This row is worth one star. It's just a slight variation at the start of the game for that. These setup cards are no longer needed. We don't need them anymore. We also have some guild setup cards. So what you would normally do is you'd normally shuffle these and pick one. Yeah. But for the first game, it recommends you use card number one. Now, what we do is, in reverse player order, so we need to determine a start player. Somebody wants to shuffle them at random. Determine a start player. Oh, they shuffle the start player. Okay. Second. Yeah, so you're the start player. So that goes there. So you start the game with 40 money. You get 41. I get 42. In reverse player order, you see on here, let me just show you this in a bit more detail. So for a two player game, you would use that. Three player game, you would use this. Four player game, you would use this. So we're using this. Okay. So I, as the last player, choose either that configuration, that configuration, or that configuration. And then what you do is you take those and you put them, take those three guilds, and you put them on your player board in whatever order you want. Hmm. When you don't know the game, it doesn't really make any sense. So I'm just going to pick and I'm just going to put them in the order that they are on there. So that's that's that guild. Uh, that one is that one. And then that one is that one. They are the three guilds that I am aligned with. No, 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 you're picking that. I, I have picked that oh, column okay. there, yeah. and I have got those three guilds. So, Fraser, you now pick one of the others. Uh, and I'm, and I'm sure so you've, you're, 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 you've been the end one. I picked the right-hand one. Which was... It says for your first game, don't worry too much about it. But... Scribers, builders, and miners. Once you know the game, you might have a bit more of a choice. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry too much about it. It's your first game. Oh, it says place the guilds on your board in the order shown on the card. Ah, you will be able to choose their order in later games. So, yeah, you can choose the order later on. Right. So I'm going to go with... Stephen is asking, did we have a smell of the rewood bags before we set up our boards? No, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I unboxed this last week, but I don't remember smelling anything. <laughs> what, would you, what would you like? Uh, uh, yellow, black, and grey. Yellow, black, and grey. Being innkeepers, miners, and, it and like metallurgists. Silver. Okay. So that leaves me with grocers, metallurgists, and builders. Grocers. Pink, silver, brown. 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 There you go. Thank you very much. So those are the three guilds that you are uh aligned to whatever okay. um and each of those guilds refers to a row of houses on your player board and this on the left hand side of your player board let me just show you that uh this is your production value of those three things okay so That's when i start producing permits 
I move I move this little marker to the right, and that is my production <laughs> of permits. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm just gonna print print permits. Right, we've done the starting player, we've done the starting money. Um we don't need those anymore. So we don't need that anymore. And what we've got here is we have four mining improvement tiles, I think they're called. Let me just check. Mining technology tiles. The number one is on top. As soon as that's gone, we have a number two. And then we have two number threes. All right, okay. we'll come on to those later. And we have a big stack of mining tiles that are seeded. We have the ones, then the twos, then the threes. And we go, we go through them in order. Right. So let's explain how we play the game. Uh, we play over six rounds. Yeah. Each round consists of three turns. Okay. Dan will take the first turn in the game because he's the star player. Then you will take a turn. Then I will take a turn. On your turn, you play one of your six action cards yeah. to the left of your player board and do you play either way either way up. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So you play it there and you do you do that action, and then you play another card. And you do another action. Now you will actually play two cards right. on your first turn. I'm never quite sure how to hold cards when when yeah. uh, they've got two. <laughs> then Fraser, you will play two cards on your first turn. Then I will okay. play two cards. Yeah. Then okay. Dan, your second turn, yeah. two cards. Yeah. Two cards, two cards. Third turn, one card. Okay. You're gonna do five. You will do five of your six cards in the round. Yeah. But it's two cards, then two cards, then one card. Okay. Okay. Um. And when you yeah when you play a card you do either of the actions on it you have a joker card yeah the joker card can be used to do any of the five actions but you lose one reputation if you do so yeah. so reputation is actually tracked at the little, at the bottom of your player board yeah. this is your little reputation mark you start with zero uh, you might get negative points at the end of the game you might get positive points at the end of the game okay and different things happen when you get to three something happens and when you get to six something happens okay but basically moving it to the right is good moving it to the left is bad and if you play the joker it's going if you to play the joker it. you lose one reputation because nobody likes the joker um so how to win victory points and the symbol for victory points is as you can see here that little thing in you know, a gold worm. oh yeah yeah that that's the symbol for victory points it's like uh, a medal is it yeah that that's the symbol for victory okay, points cool. yeah foil or something yeah right um yeah, lots of ways to score points. And it does say there is a special patrician scoring phase at the end of each of the last three rounds. So at the end of round four, five and six, there is patrician scoring, which is here. Okay. I will come on to this much later on because I only skim read this yesterday, so I'm not 100% sure how it works myself. Again, not a sponsored video, so it's going to be a bit rough. It also says that there is a decisive amount of points awarded at the end of the game. Ooh. That's a this big word. It is. <laughs> <laughs> so not just a lot, but a decisive <laughs> amount. In other words, whatever you've done during the game, forget that. <laughs> it's what you score at the end of the game that is going to be de uh, decisive. decisive. <laughs> we're, we're in a debate about whether they're flamingos or pelicans. Well, the rule book says pelicans. <laughs> <laughs> the rule book calls them pelicans. Right, let's go through the, the actions uh, on what you can do. Now, before we do that, let's talk about the prices, because this part of the game is extremely cool. And I'm going to press a button on here and hope it's the right one. Really? It is. Right. We have two of these. Now, each of these has sliders that can move to the right. Mm -hmm. Like so. OK. And each one of them contains a set of cards. So this goes from zero all the way up to 19. And then what you do is you actually flip it over uh, and it, it, it carries on counting after that. OK, now this is representing the population of Kunahora. Every time the population increases, which is when you see that symbol, yeah. we, do, we do that. And if you see a little star next to a number, that means it's just increased. So that was two. That was five. It's gone up. I can lean over to see the stars. OK, <laughs> this, this shows you the price of wood, the price of food and the price of beer. Yeah, because you will notice there are no counters for wood mm. there are no counters for food and there are no counters for beer okay so whenever you need to buy wood to build something you don't actually spend money to buy the wood and then use the wood to build the building you just spend, you literally yeah. spend the money there and there yeah so if i'm going to buy a building right now that requires eight wood i have to spend 24 money mm. okay okay yeah so that's how that works as the population goes up 
yeah. you will notice that these prices will go up. And as this moves to the right, the price goes down. So, mm. so the population generally, the price is going up because demand yeah. is higher. The other one is how much of that resource is being produced. Okay, yeah. And the more of a resource that's being produced, then the less valuable it is. Yeah. Right. The other one, uh, this is ore and silver. And on the bottom, we have permits. And ore and silver is tied together. And there's a thematic explanation for this. Um, but yeah, it, it was a it was a big thing. And I like the fact that the designers have um, put a lot of historical context into this game and have, have done their research. So yeah, as population increases, price increases. Um, when you build one of the guild buildings, the thing will move to the right. Because that means a, a building has been built that's producing that resource. Uh, as all production increase, oh yeah, and this this here, this is all production. So as all production mm. goes up, the price of all will go down. Um, but crazy. silver prices and the cost of permits will rise. Oh, I'm loving this already. Yeah, yeah, this, <laughs> this, this, is, this is fantastic. The way that this works. Okay, so uh, the first action I want to explain is the mine action. Okay. Now, the first thing you do when you perform the mine action, you look at your player board. And you see if you have a miner in this little section here, the space for two miners. Okay. Okay. And if you have a miner here, great. If you don't have a miner there, you're going to have to get a miner before you carry on with the mine action. And the way you do that is you spend one per minute, one permit. We currently have miners. You have one miner. This guy he doesn't look that he's floating about. No, no, no. He's just got lots of room. He lives okay. in a nice big house. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so if you don't have any, yeah, you spend one permit. Mm -hmm. Well. You buy a permit yeah. for the current price of permits, yeah. which is currently four, and then you may move one to two over. Mm. I don't see why you wouldn't move two over, but yeah. if you, and I, I, again, I've only played one round of this game myself. Right now, if I wanted to, I could spend one permit and I would have a second miner there. Yeah. I, I don't know why that's important. Is um, that an action, because is it? this is all part of the mining action. Because okay, yeah. as long as you've got one here, you can carry on. Yeah. So what you then do is you draw a number of tiles from the top of this stack equal to the current mining technology level. One. One. Yeah. And then out of those tiles, choose one yeah. and discard the rest. Okay. So Face start, up, presumably. Yeah. At the start of the game, you take the top tile. <laughs> yeah. And that's the tile that you've got. Okay, yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Then what you do is you choose a space on the board, which was this button. Mines. And you can either start here yeah. or here, mm -hmm. because this is the entrance, and you, you pay two wood. Yeah. So whatever the cost of wood is, cost of wood is currently two, mm -hmm. uh, and you place the tile there. Okay. Now, I'm just going to show you the top tile, just to give you an example. Um, because what happens, let's say you build there, yeah. that costs you two wood. If you now want to build on a space adjacent to that, either yeah. to the left or the right or below, cannot build above, so if we went down here and then across, you can't build above it. Okay. You see the arrows on there? It goes forward. Okay. So you can, uh, if there was down there, can you not come off a previous yeah, one? Yeah. Oh, you can. Come you can't build one. above okay. something. Um, if you ever have two different costs, you pay the higher cost. Okay. Now, building this mine on here, that increases your ore production by one. Yeah. So what you do is on your player board, on this bottom track here, you move that up by one. Okay, yeah. That means that this increases by one. Yeah, Those yeah. two are always tied together. Every okay. time you see that, you will also see that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And that means the population has gone up by one. Because oh, everybody yeah. goes, oh, mining, quick, rush to the tap. You found the yeah. theme. Right. And then what you do is you take your miner and you put it on it. Oh. So that's kind of your tile. Yeah. And at the end of the game... I've got one star on that row. Ah, oh, yeah. And what you do, and oh, okay. I, I need to reread this bit again in the rules, but I think you work out how many stars are on the row. Yeah. And then that gives you points based on who's got the most stars on that row. Okay, cool. I think that's what it is. That's fine. So, yeah, the more valuable a row gets, the more points you're going to get at the end of the game. Okay. Okay. I'll reread that later on is when that we part when of we the need decisive end game scoring. It could be part of the decisive end game scoring. It could, <laughs> it could well be. Um, <laughs> that that's basically it. Some mines are worth. Some mines have victory points printed on them. Yeah. As well, but generally they always produce or they move that up, 
and some mines draw people to so the thing. So the mining action's going to be consuming wood, so I'm presuming someone's going to be able to produce wood somewhere. It is. Nice. Next action. Very cool. Right. So the right action, which is this, yeah. is about gaining the right to build a building. So putting a building on the board is a three-step process. Okay. You have to get the right to build the building. Yeah. You have to then reserve a plot of land, mm -hmm. and then which is a different action. Yeah. And then another action is build the building. So the first action we'll cover is rights. Mm -hmm. Choose any building tile from the town hall, but you can only choose the top one of each stack. If you choose one from this column, it costs you one money, which is Groshen. Mm -hmm. This one costs you one permit. This one costs you two permits. Later on in the game, there may be a tile in the third column or fourth column. That's going to cost you three permits. So you pay that cost. You then take the tile and you put it above your player board in, in one of the three slots. That's right. That's right. So you've now got the right to build that building. Please rotate the rocks in the mine 180 degrees. I was wondering about that. Okay, thank you. I will do that. Oh, yes, that looks much better. Um, once you've done that, so let's say I've, I've bought the top tile of this stack. Yeah. Then what we do is we take that to here, we slide it down, like so. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You can only take your guild or public building. That's that action. Okay. Oh, right. You can only take... You can... Take only your That is a good point. That is a good point. Yeah. Build. You can only take a building of so I couldn't take that one because I, I'm not allied with that guild. That's yeah. to me. That so was, I can only that's take only you. Yes, only you. You you are You can buy the butchers. Well that's the butchers. Oh the grocers. I remember because yeah. my father in law's a grocer. Okay. <laughs> Next <laughs> the plot action, which is not scheming. And doing okay. secret things behind everybody's back. Not only. It's buying, a plot. <laughs> it's buying a plot of land. Okay, great. So, first of all... He if... look a bit like he's looking out and scheming, doesn't he? <laughs> so, first of all, if there are no buildings on the board, yeah. you can claim any plot of land for five money, and you take your leftmost little plot marker, yeah. and you go, well, I'm going to claim that plot of land there. Okay. That is not a building. No. Right? So, if you now wanted to claim a plot of land, you can go anywhere you want. Okay. Cost you five money. If there is a building in town, you can only claim a plot that is right next to that building. Okay. And in fact, it would have been flipped over. And that is the money you pay for the it. The icon. So it's not start favorites. building out from the. Start building out for there. Yeah, so that becomes the. City. If all of those are. Uh, if all plots next to buildings are claimed. Yeah. So if there's claim markers in all four, yeah. then you can go anywhere you want. Oh, Otherwise, not diagonal. Not diagonal. So it's okay. got to be contiguous unless you can't be contiguous. Correct. Yeah. Got you. Adjacent if possible. Yeah, nice. Adjacent if possible. Yeah. Now, I did mention reputation. So if your reputation is three or higher, then you only ever pay one groschen. Oh, yeah. Bot. And it's got a little picture of a... There is a little picture on there as the well. Yeah. yeah. Well, that is you either pay the cost of the building or five. But it's that action. Yeah. And if your reputation is three or higher, you only ever pay one to reserve a plot of land. Okay, cool. Any questions about the plot action? No, that's great. Right. There is one thing I do want to mention about the plot action, though. If when we get to the end of the round and you have to pay your taxes. Yeah. If you have two plot markers on the board, <gasps> you have to pay three more taxes. And if you have all three plot markers on the board, you have to pay more taxes. Okay. So how do you get the plot markers off the board? You build buildings. <clears throat> By building a building on a plot which you have reserved, returns that plot marker back to here. So that is the fourth action to explain. Yeah. Building a building. Right. So choose one of your plots. Yeah. Place a building tile on the plot. Yeah. Pay the cost of the building, which is always wood. Always wood, yeah. Um, resolve the effects shown on the tile. Okay. So let's just take this butchers and we'll say you're going to build it there. Get your hands off my butchers. Press the wrong button. <laughs> there you go. Um, now, there's lots of things on here, but that basically means that you are going to... Uh, it's costing eight wood. It, it costs you eight wood. Yeah. I think what that does is it increases your production 
of that commodity by that amount. So your food production would go up by five. Is that that's that the, the line yeah. that's got my guild? And so these then, aren't changing throughout the game. No. Okay. And then that means that on this thing, there is now one building producing food. So that moves to there. Goes down. That's what the second icon. Yeah, that's what the second icon means. Uh, that means the population goes up by one because everybody loves a good butcher. Yeah. And that, so that one, theory would make the price yeah. a bit more. And then that one means that one stage of St. Barbara's Cathedral is built. Okay. I'll yeah. come on to that more later on. Can I just have a little look at it? Yeah. My eyes are... Oh, yeah. Okay. There's a little symbol there for the food. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. So Got that's him. what happens. It increases your production of that. It adjusts the prices. More people come to town and mm. part, part of the cathedral might be built. The miners' guilds are slightly different. Yeah, this so these are the miners' guilds. So what they do is you remove the top mining technology tile. Okay. Mm. Okay. And, and you build it for free. And it comes with a miner. And that miner comes from... You build what? This, sorry. You build this tile. Yeah. It's that. Okay, yeah. Okay. You get yeah. a miner on it. Yeah. But that miner doesn't have to be in your free area that miner can be any of oh, the yeah, other ones a little plus so, symbol yeah next so you get a miner you build it for free yeah um and it increases your ore production by one and yeah. the game's ore production by one and does that yeah so this is like a free thing in the mine mm. um and that's how the technology increases and that also improves technology yeah. Now, yeah i said it's your ore production yeah if you have a look at my player board here I actually have two ore production tracks. Okay. I have the ore production track when I build a piece of the mine. Yeah. But I also have another oh, ore production course. track. Because you're aligned with the guild. Because I'm aligned with the guild. They are effectively the same, but they are tracked slightly differently. Okay. So is this increasing? This symbol is increasing which that one? That actually increases the one with the guild. Oh, okay. Not the bottom one. Because it's a guild building. Because it's a guild building. I don't know what the difference is. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't understand it that much cool are we all okay with building buildings right yeah. public buildings are not owned by anybody okay so when you build them you get the stuff that's printed on them yeah but you don't put a my uh, you don't put um a ha oh yeah houses sorry forgot about houses okay. <laughs> um you mark it with your house that's it oh, yeah, mark it with house and so you house turn effect. yeah turn the tile face down yeah. and then if it's a guild building yeah you would put it face down and you would take for you you would take that house there because it's from the that round. You put oh, the house on I it. see, because it's the guild. And that's now yours. Yeah. And when you take something off it, you yeah. immediately get what's printed there. Okay. Cool. So that one is you gain a public building. In other words, you gain a bonus action, the, the right action to take one of these. Oh, yeah, because this symbol means And right. you put it there, yeah. but you don't have to pay any money for it. You just take one of these three okay. and you put it there. The next one down is gain a pelican. Yeah. And then the next one is reputation. Okay. We've all got the same things, but it also gets points as well as you go further to the right. So the points more of the these end. buildings, no points immediate. Okay. The more of these buildings you unlock. So they're not decisive points because they're immediately. They are immediate points. <laughs> Definitely not decisive. No. So public cool. buildings, you don't put a house on it because it's not yours, yeah. but you do get all the benefits of it. Okay. Right. Now, while we're talking about buildings, there is one thing that I do want to mention. This is end of game points. If you look at these buildings, they've got icons in the top left. Yeah. So at the end of the game, each building that you have on the board will score points based on the symbols that it is next to. Okay. So if you've got that next to that, yeah. then this is going to be worth points because it has a matching icon. And mm -hmm. that is going to be worth points because it's next to that. Okay. I think that's right. You want to match the symbols. And the symbols on the side of the board as well. So building that building there, I believe that building is now worth one point at the end of the game. Oh. Just going to check that in the rules to make sure I've got that right. Go through the city building by building and award the owner one point for each matching dot on an adjacent building or side of the board. So, okay. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, there's points. So that currently is worth one point. That's worth one point I've at the end of the game. another one next to it, it'd be worth two. Worth two. Cool. That goes there, that goes there. I think I got that right. 
Nice. I right. can definitely see a slack in this game. <laughs> um so guild buildings we've talked about public buildings we've talked about right now the other thing with public buildings is you'll notice that's patrician on we've got some little counters here yeah right so whenever you build a public building um adds a patrician of the appropriate color to the pool so we take the corresponding token from the bank put it in the space in the middle of the town hall board marked with the rainbow patri yeah it goes here uh public buildings do not give you any income so, yeah, it says do not spend all of your starting money on an expensive public building. Then you have no way of getting more money, really. Um, so a patrician in the pool has yeah. no immediate effect. But when you do an income action, that patrician might move to the corresponding coloured area. And that's going to determine points for people in the patrician scoring section, which is at the end of rounds four, five and six for all players. Okay. So if you move it to there you are determining a victory point thing that everybody is entitled to. How come I'm getting to move it to there? Is it because I built what? the public building? No, no, no. Oh. Building the public building puts Just it up there. Okay. Moving it to there is during the it's income action, later. which I think is the next thing to explain. Right. So the income action is the last action to explain. It's gr Groschen. Groschen of the money. Yeah. Okay. And what you do is you work out how much you're producing and the current value of everything that you're producing, and that's how much money you get. So you do not want to choose the income action as your first action. Okay. In fact, you can't choose the building action as your first action, and you don't want to choose the income action. So you add up all of these tracks. So if I was producing five rights, yeah. and rights are currently worth four, um, I gain 20 money. But you're doing it for each, all for, tracks? For all mm. the tracks. Including the all tracks? Including the all tracks. Okay. Big numbers. Yes. And <laughs> during an income action, after collecting income, you may pay 10 groschen yeah. to move a patrician onto the town council. Okay. You can't pay more to move one tile. And at the end of each of the final three rounds, all players will score points for that patrician. Okay. So when you take the income action, you also get to decide a little bit of end game yeah. scoring. Not end game scoring, but uh, end of round four, five, and six. Okay, cool. I said that was the last action. I lied. Non-decisive story. We've got St. Barbara, uh, yeah. which is another one you cannot do at the start of the game okay. because you have to use a pelican token. Okay. So these are the pelican tokens. You have to have one in order to do this action, and it flips it over, so you don't mm. spend it. That's why they're pelicans. They're not pelicans. Oh, pelican. oh. <laughs> Sorry. I've been waiting uh, to say uh, that apologies. for 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> apologies in advance. Um, now, these... Oh, which was the preset for the cathedral? Was it one, two, three? Was it three? What? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so these are numbered. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven at the top. So they're in a fixed order. This is the one we're currently going for. So if you build a section of the cathedral, that's the one you're building. Okay. You flip it over, and that's the bonus that you get. So you would get two reputation, oh, right. and oh, it cool. would flip over, it's and it would be built. Uh, yeah, nice. Now you'll notice at the bottom there's a number in a red. That's the tax increase. If you as a player build a section of the cathedral mm -hmm. you ignore that mm -hmm. but if a section of the cathedral is built from one of the buildings that we saw in other words the game flips it over yeah and it's got a tax increase on then the tax does increase and that's moving this and that's that that's the amount of tax okay. that will go up and up as the game goes on uh -oh. uh, i'm hoping a lot of these are self-explanatory i'm not going to go through them all now do we know how to get the pelicans no <laughs> I have no. I mean, I mean, I should, I mean should, there's, there's one. Oh yeah. I assume stuff. You get my I stuff. assume there's ways you can get them. Yeah. Oh. Um. So using, why? Just thematically, why are the pelicans building the? Do you want me to explain? I'd love to. I'm, I'm sure yeah. it's in here somewhere. I'm presuming it's, it's her, her thing, right? um, Saint Barbara's symbol. Although I didn't see anything. It's not. It's around. not in this section. So. Um, G given that Petter has been. Oh, using it, historical symbols for masonry, symbol. I'm presuming. Yeah, it's also that bit might be in the rule book somewhere, but I've not, I've not found it. Okay. Right. So I haven't seen anything about it. So how do you get yeah. the pelicans? I'm not sure. Right. End they, of the round. They swoop down with some building materials, and so I at, mean, <laughs> probably at the end of each round, as we can see on this board here. Yeah. We do this. We either. Pay our taxes, okay, or lose one reputation. Ooh, like now, if that. your taxes are zero, great, you don't have to pay any. Yeah, 
the end of round two, pay your taxes or lose one reputation. End of round three, pay your taxes or lose one reputation. Okay. Right? It, it goes up. It's two reputation, two reputation, three reputation. And is that as in, like, that would be three coins? It would be three coins. Mm. Yeah. It doesn't sound like a lot when we're paying no, it 20, 30 for a building. No. And yeah. if you've got these on the board, it increases your taxes okay. as well. I was worried that it was going to be like a multiplier. Pelicans is a symbol for joint guilds who historically built the cathedral. Oh, there we go. Okay, Thank cool. you very much. Nice. Thank you, Peter. And then we set up for the next round. Once the once the round is done, the starting player marker moves to the next player to the left, and all players pick up their action cards. So it does move around. Okay. Does move and around. we're playing clockwise. Right? We're playing clockwise. Yeah. Now, if you're playing a two-player game, there are event cards Ooh. which change things up. You can use these in a three-player game. We're not going to. But if you wanted to, you could use them in a three-player game. You don't use them in a four-player game. Well, I think you can even use them in a four-player game. What do they do? Dabble with the population? I think they dabble with this. Yeah. Yeah, they kind of represent this change. Yeah, cool. Um, It's a really nice way it looks like of doing supply and demand. mm. So, red patrician buildings, they will come in after round three. Okay. I will read the rules on them then. Yeah. But what I am going to cover now is the patrician scoring. Okay. Just so we've got an idea of what this is. So... After rounds four, five, oh. and six, get this still. If there is a patrician in there, mm-hmm. then it's for each building that you own. One of these specifically, these houses. Gain one point if it is next to a public building. Oh, sorry, for each public building that is next to it. So for each of your houses in Kutnahora on the map, yeah, you gain one point for each public building that it is next to. For each of these three. That mm-hmm. is next to it. And that is, I think, for each patrician. Okay. So that is now two points. Two points for, for each of your houses for each public building that that house is next to. Okay, cool. I think that's right. And that is definitely a symbol for public building. Because I saw that it. That is somewhere. the symbol for yeah, public building. Right, mate. Right, mate. Okay. This next one is... You can probably work it out. Pelicans. Three Three pelicans. For each pair of pelican tokens that you have used. Okay. They have to be used. So contributing to the cathedral yeah. is there. The next one is if you have a, a miner yeah. in each row. If mm. you have a mine in each row. So if you put one of these in each row, in each row. you're getting yeah. two points per patrician. Yeah. Got and this one is for each column of your player board in which all of the houses have been removed. Column going down like that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And Peter has said pelicans, the main source of pelicans is here. So actually, oh, yeah. three. Wow. What are you going to so get? So they are from... quite rare then. Because yeah. if, if you only get one for that one, one for that one, one for that one, that's yeah. the main source of them. I see two of them there. Uh, yes. No pelican farm. Right. Final scoring. We've talked about this. Yeah. Points for buildings based on the number of dots that they're next to. The mines. Yeah. You go through each row, count up the number of stars. Yeah. That determines which category it's in. Okay. Uh, give players points according to their rank. All right. See so, example below. So if you're the best, if you've got nine stars in a in, column, in a column and you've got and you're the most the best, stars, you get three points. Three points. But then in a free player game, it's like one point different. Yeah, it doesn't seem much. It doesn't sound like a lot. It's not three points per one that you've got, is it? Nope. Okay. No, nope. just reading the example. No. Nope. Well, I guess it, we'll it, see it when it when we build it. Doesn't seem much. Income. Calculate your income according to the final state of the economy at the end of the game. And for every 10, you score a point. This is actually printed on here. This is the end of game scoring here. Oh, it's on the... And it's probably on the player yeah. rate as well. These player rates are really good. Yeah, and actually I can read that a bit. More reputation, easy. you may gain or lose points depending on your reputation. And then extras. Okay. One point for each building tile here that you didn't build. Yeah. One point for each plot that you didn't use. Yeah. And one point for each pelican token that you didn't use. Okay, cool. Right, do we have enough... To get started. I guess so. Okay, just a quick note. The rule book does contain a number of historical references. Oh, nice. And theme. Excellent. These photos are actually taken by Peter's dad. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> so, are, are you from, are you actually from Kutnahora? <laughs> <laughs> I think his dad went there and took a lot of photos. How long ago was it? I think you said about 10 or 15 years ago. So a lot of these photos are quite old photos. There's right? a lot of pelicans puns coming out oh well we're we having pelican puns <laughs> pelican puns in the uh yeah yeah oh how do i get more rep reputation that one that and the, those and that there. There. okay yeah. and anytime you see that symbol 
Gotcha. So okay. we're going to play five out of the six. Each round. Yeah. And it's me to go first. Petter lives five game. minutes from Kuta Hora. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cool. Nice. All right. Are we starting? I'm super excited. About it. I've been <laughs> hearing nothing but good things about this since yeah. June. So yeah, off you go. Play play a card. Do an action. Okay. Don't play income. Don't play building. Don't play, and don't cathedral. play cathedral. So you, you've basically got a choice of three actions. So plot's probably pointless if I haven't got the rights. No, plot plot is claiming a plot on the board. I know, but at the moment. But you just pay the money for rights on the slidey slider. No, what? Well, no, mean... plot is five money. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. yeah, but what I mean is, until I've got one of these. Yeah, but... You want to, but but <laughs> it might be a specific place you really want to be like for example right? and it's yeah. more than five you're the you only one right? that's allied with the grocers yeah or the food production and right? he's got the yellow that's got yellow one. yeah so the yellow symbol or no, orange, it's orange. Symbol? yeah there isn't an orange there isn't symbol one. there okay but if there was um then that might be one you really so want. just to go over these symbols the, the arrow is is, is move the appropriate thing move the it always moves across. to the right it never moves to the left but the that's how much your production goes up and the orange is a population that population goes up okay so if i if i was to get build that everyone's population is getting going well up. the population of the town goes yeah. up okay which means the prices will go up you've got You've got those three. So I'm the only one that is allied with blue. This guild. Yeah. Have you got any uniques? Uh, I the I'm ones. the brewer. Beer. Yeah. yeah. So beer is unique to you. Lucky. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Petra said rights or plot is a good way to start. Yeah. So I think I'm going to do right. I'm I'm going to build a public building first. Just just no. I'm not. <laughs> Where am I playing these? Does it matter? Left uh, of your playbook. Do you not want a miserable two hours? <laughs> <laughs> right, and I will take the. Well, is there any re? I could. I should probably try and take the thing that you might also want to so get. So the top three were randomised. It's only the one at the bottom that's fixed. Okay. But that seems to be a really. Exp yeah, I don't know. Oh, I forgot. I forgot you play other people's games as well as three, your own. Four, four. So this is quite pricey. Yeah. Be as expensive. Yeah. Um. And what's the significance of the difference between these two? It's the price of ore and the price of silver. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they are and they are I, connected together. And when I go mining, yep. I'm getting on these cards was all stuff. Or your ore production will go up. Okay. So how do you get silver then? Are you smelting it in there? Which you can do. Yeah. And you cheap. can do. I'm not bothering yeah. with silver. But the price of wood. Even is though the game is Kuna right of the City of Silver. <laughs> Somebody's got to do all the services, yeah. right? What about lumber? Is that is that this one? It is. Yeah, which you share with Paul. And is that this one? That's that one. And um, Paul's the only scrivener, right? And this or scribe. One scri I think he's down as a scribe, yeah. And that's Scribes. Quite Scribes, quite grocers, cool. builders and innkeepers. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll take this yep. lumber. So that goes in there. That goes there. I pay for anything for it? Nope. No. Oh, no, you do. I pay. It was from that column, so, so you pay one money. One groschen. I'm not paying the rights. You are. For the permit. No, it, that one is one money. Dirt cheap. So wait, sorry, when am I buying these permits? Yeah. If you bought from this column, it would oh, cost okay. you four. And if you bought from this column, it would currently cost you eight. Uh -huh. But that's now getting picked up. Yep. Everything sliding down. Slide to the end. Oh. So that is now more pricey. It is. Okay. okay. Makes sense. Second. Oh, oh I've got No, you again. do too. Yeah. Mm. So if I wanted to be absolutely mad, I could buy another lumber place. It would cost you eight money. Yeah. But then I'll have a monopoly on lumber. <laughs> so that's a different don't, thing, Dan. Yeah. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't mess with Dan's business skill. Um, okay, well, we won't do that. But um... Oh, ore and silver are always connected and always add up to seven. Yeah. Uh, Useful to know. I, um, I, I'm, I thought you genuinely were going to go and try and get a monopoly there. That's I am going to play idea. another rights card. What are you going to take? I'm going to take... Thought you would. Yeah. 
this one because it's cheap. It's dirt cheap. Yeah, it's one, right? So you spend one money. Yeah. That goes there. Why I order. But now your lumber's a bit cheaper again. Those slide down. Now and that's it. Your first turn is done. Oh, Razor. <laughs> well, now you can't do that again, can you? You've only got two rights cards in hand. Not. Oh, you've round. got the Joker. Yeah. So you really wanted to. You really, really want but to. But I filled up. You can do the Joker in slots. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So that. That's... Hmm. So, uh, in terms of getting plots, play uh, the, the plot card. Uh, there we are. I've got two of them. Yep. I could buy two plots. Yeah. You could. I could do a down and try and get a monopoly. Yeah. And it doesn't. Isn't an issue of, of it going up, right? The, the each plot costs the same. Each plot is five, five. or if it's next to a building. Whatever the building says. Okay, and because nothing's built presently, I can build wherever I like. You can place plots anywhere. Right. So you could put one plot here and one plot there. Right. So if you wanted to. So I'm going to do plot twice. Double, double plot. Double plot, as uh, Peter said I could. Um, so um, going to cost you ten money. That's going to cost me ten money. Thank you. Right. And and I couldn't see that for the moment because it was grey on grey. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to... Oh, hang on, my tax goes up. With well, only one. if those plots are... Yeah, so I'm, I've got to get this... You've got to build at least one building. When does the round end again? Uh, after we've all had three turns. And you will have played five cards. Yeah. Okay, right. So I'm going here and here. Ooh, what? What where this should go? I know. Right. <laughs> Player interaction. And, and okay. you've got the um, <laughs> shock. You've got the metal. Exactly. Got exactly. Right. But in theory, we want to build all of our metallurgists next to each other. In theory, because you'll get points and I'll get. Oh, is it only if it's next to your own? Point? No, no, no. Any. Okay. Right. Well, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to mine. Hmm. So I don't need to buy a miner. No. So I won't. I will explore the top tile, and I will choose one. Of all the tiles that are revealed, yeah, uh, I'm going to pay two wood. Now the price of wood is currently two. Yeah, so I pay four money. Hmm. Maybe I should have that. Oh, okay, uh, and I'm going to put it here because that's nearer to me. And my ore production goes up by two. This goes up by two. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, so the yeah. price of ore has gone down. The price of silver has gone up. Population. And the population goes up by one, which means the price of wood and beer has just gone up. Ooh. Oh, but not my butchers. And then I put the miner on there. <laughs> All right. right. That's my second turn. Did we show off the gorgeous wooden miniatures? Well, I, I, I kind of showed everybody my player board. So, yeah, one of the things to mention about this game is these are not plastic. These are a thing called re-wood which is recycled wood and various other stuff, and they are fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I really hope that more and more publishers start to use this because, as you can see, these are really detailed, as good as, if not slightly better than the plastic ones. Right. Probably okay. better so, than you could get with wood as well. Oh, definitely better than you could get with wood. Yeah. <laughs> right. My second action is... Um... So do I want to? Yeah, I think, I think I might write as well. Yeah. So I'm going to write. I'm going to pay one money. Okay. And I'm going to take this oh. the horse mill and put it there. Horse mill. Bop, 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 bop. Done. Nice. That's my two cards. Uh, right. Okay. That that See was you. maybe the second move I should have done rather than trying to. Mm. claim all of a certain thing but anyway so not that you do it now but if you took income it would be two times multiplied by two i'd get four money okay that's how it okay makes sense so we are probably gonna want to take um uh, no we might thought, not want to take thought income. paul yeah if you'd have done um rights followed by build would you have got a free mine with it I can't build that because I don't have a plot of land. Ah, oh, okay, yes. You need the plot You first. need the plot of land. And that plots, then rights, then build. Or rights, then plots, then build. Yes. 
as long as you've done right and plot yeah before you build then yeah. you're good okay so dan currently has two the right to build two buildings but he hasn't yeah. Yeah. a plot of land to, to build them on yeah gotcha we we don't know what the next number is going to be here what if the population goes up no if it slid along i can show you if you, if you want to know it's on the back of your player red is it oh so we do know the number no it's not well i'll, I'll show you because you would it's not hidden information well you would know oh there you go it's one with a big red x what does that mean the then? big red x means i thought the price was supposed to go up if you could go that way no, no it goes, because you're, it goes, you're oh, reducing it yeah. yeah yeah it goes up if you shift the cards right big red so the big red x x. means there is no market for more of that commodity nobody is allowed to build a building of that type unless demand increases that's another thing that i love about okay. yeah. Yeah. Um, if there's no demand for a certain thing, yeah. the town's not going to let you build it. That's what he's just said. If nobody will buy your ore, then you go broke. If, am I allowed what? to slide this along? Are they yeah. all like that? Why is he? Why is he? What do you mean I'll go broke? I've got loads of money here. That's not like that. See, this is the part of the game because I'm not playing it. I don't. <laughs> That's, those were different numbers there, look. Yeah, but the adult seven. So if one goes up and the other one goes down, always. Yeah. But in here, it's gone down by yeah, two. It yeah, it always goes down. So in theory, that will go down by two, and that will be on four. Possibly. But are we, are we, what I'm saying, <laughs> are we supposed to know? Just have a look at the card. Are we yeah. supposed to know what's on that well, card? Well, yeah, because once you've played it, you'd know. Okay. Yeah, price drops, really. But really, building the buildings. So I'm making four coins. It's actually just... Oh, but it will be better. Oh, I see what you mean. Right. Yeah. Four coins is not a good income. Yes. No, no. Oh, the more you do this, the more it's going to be worse income. Like the more you move this along. It's good for us as yeah, metal so If you look here, that mm. is it only moves to the right when a silver building is built. Mm. At which point the price of ore goes up because people yeah. want more ore because yeah. Got yeah. All right. Um We're not, we're not going to take an income in the first round. Well, you might. Have you got three other actions that you can do without taking income? Well, it's not that much money, is it, to do? This is going to be... T uh, yeah, you're probably out. okay. Ten for the plots, and then... And then one building. Yeah, but the cards aren't... Oh, no, I could do a building. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, I'm well you want to do one building, so you're not playing p paying the tax under the yeah. second plot marker. Yeah. Oh, I see. Two plots. Double plot. Ten coins. Ten coins. Where's he going? I think I'm going to go there and there. Mm. Uh, but then it's a chance to go far away, isn't it? But I'm just thinking that you're probably going to build your. I presume you're allowed to build on top of the river. Yes. Okay. And. Once someone's built something, we've all got to go out from there. Future plots must be placed. Future, adjacent. Okay. future plots. Future but... plots must be yeah. placed adjacent to a building if there is a building on the board. But it's not. Yes, it's not that you have to. That you can't build on the plot that Correct. you own. Yeah. So okay. you used to have both got the mines. If I block that off, let's try that. <laughs> Don't know if that's smart or not. But who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I mean, that's that's quite a good place to build your butchers. Yeah. Oh no, sorry. The your your builders. Lime the hammer works. The lime kiln. Oh, the lime yeah. kiln. Yeah. yeah, that gets you more wood, right? Yep. Yeah. More wood income. Uh, income from wood. Yeah. Yeah. No sheep in this game. No. Nope. Um. So you've just done two things. That must mean it's my go. Um, now, the interesting thing is that both the things I wanted to build are now super expensive. Yay! So <laughs> um, this is a minor issue. Uh, ooh, that's oh, that's a pun. Oh. <laughs> ah, that was unintended. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so the, the, I guess the question is, is it worth me blowing a load of cash on some of this or not? Um, and I'm not really sure what the answer is. Um, I presume I can't just take one turn and then do two later, no. like you might in another no. game. <laughs> um, 
so i so unless i would well i can't so i can't buy either of these right correct buying that everybody says seems to say is dark well building that is a bad idea but uh, but maybe he just puts it here uh, i i would have to but just don't spend 36 coins on building it at the start mm. of the game because yeah. then you you have no income paul can i ask you a question Mm-hmm. When you did your mine action, mm-hmm. why didn't you do that, or could you not? Could I you could not... have done, but I chose not to. Okay, so you was allowed to put because I had one miner here. So you could have put one in there. I could have put one, one in. more in there. I said I don't know why I'd do that. You have to do that at the start of the mine action. Yeah. Okay. I just wait, and now I get two for one permit. Okay, so it's the cost of the permit. Yeah, the permit gets you one or two miners. Oh, okay. But I don't know. Why you would ever want to do it when you already have one in here? Yeah. I, I might have missed something. Well, I guess because this price in theory is going to go up, so it's sure now. Okay. If it's it uh, if it gets to nine, yeah. then it would have been better. To... Good point. But Good yeah, point. Is it? I see what you mean. Yeah. Right. So let's go with. Better uh, uh, saying four money for yeah. one permit is is not. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> Tricky. Tricky. I've been cheated. What have you done? I think I should have paid an extra one. Let me just work it out. Two for that. Right, right. No, I did pay it. So I bought two from that column. Yeah, so 28. Should... Yeah. Yep. Okay, I'm going to give this a go then. I'm going to play rights twice. Twice. Uh, and I'm going to have so in. That's one money. Yeah. And then those slide um, down. Yep. Yeah. And then I'm going to have the furnace for one permit. Yeah, so that's five. Total total. cost of five money. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Right. So I am going to plot. Okay. And since there are no buildings on the board, I'm going to spend five money and I am going to claim I'm going to claim up here. Yeah, nice. Your mine has got both symbols on. And then I'm going to build. Yeah, very cool. So I'm going to build this. Mm. So this costs three wood. Wood is currently valued at three, so I have to spend nine money. Okay. Getting some. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it there. That comes back. Yeah. And goes here. This yeah. is right. This is working, so what happens is this happens. So it's this tile. Yeah. But the miner comes from the end. This section here. Okay. I did read in the rules that if this section is empty. Yeah. You can take one from there. Okay. Uh, I build this for free. Yeah. So it can either go there or next to the existing. I'm going to put it there because next here normally would cost four. Okay. So oh, yeah, you we look at here. Three. Anything that's built there, there, or there costs four. Yeah. But because this is free, I'm just going to put that there. Nice. Nice. So that that doesn't actually do anything other than okay, you give start. me one star on a row that is already worth two stars. Brilliant. Um. Right. Okay. And then increase your so ore production, but it's that ore production. Okay. Because this also there. goes up by one. Is that the third icon? That's the third icon. Yeah. And the population goes up by one, which is that icon. Okay. And then once that's done, that flips over, and I take one this that row, which is why the there, order you put them in is important. And I get a. A reputation. reputation. Yeah. Fantastic. And that is worth one point at the end of the game currently because of that mm. matching dot on there. Build a building. Right. Awesome stuff. That? I'm yeah. going to do exactly the same. Building. I'm going to build the lime kiln, which is nine. Copy nine. Thank you. Um, Where are you going to put it? I'm going to put it there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That goes back on there. So your wood production goes up by four. Three, three, four. This goes to the right. <laughs> so no more wood production buildings can be built because the town doesn't need any more wood. Okay. Until we've increased the population. So the okay, nice. And that flips over. Nice. And you put your wood bottom row house on it, which yeah. gets you one reputation. And it's a red and a red symbol. Okay. One reputation. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Um, and 
really like this. Like Why really hasn't huge. this been done in game? I mean, it yeah. could, mm. I mean, well, for there are games that have done that thing, supply it? and demand, but yeah. not yes. supply and demand. It's like a three D. Yeah. Mm. It, it normally the price goes up or down when you produce or remove a game. Yeah, exactly. This has got that plus the population. Plus aspect. the population. Yeah. So, the building's there. Well. Yeah. Makes sense. So seven wood. Yep. Oh, it's gone down in price. It's gone down in price because Dan's producing more wood. So the wood that you're buying is cheaper than our wood. Yes. So two, seven million. is 14. Um, I'll have six back then. Thank you. So your silver production yep. goes up by three, which is your bottom. Well, yep. not the bottom, bottom, but that, that one. one. This goes up by one. Yep. What what's the what's the number on what's the six in the top That's right? That's gonna be the cost to buy a plot. Oh the to buy the plot. To buy the plot. So this has actually made the plot cheaper because yeah. it's a and horrible, made the plot more a horrible kiln. Yeah. Whereas yeah. what have you built? Silver. Oh. Silver okay. thing. Works. People like a furnace. Okay. So maybe yeah. not. Silver <laughs> silver furnace. Well people like the silver that comes out yeah. of it. Um, so it was just the silver that went up. There was nothing, no other action mm -hmm. there. Live next to the butchers, I suppose. Yes. So you've got one row. So we've all built something on our bottom row of yes. Yeah. I don't know why we've all done it on the bottom. It just worked out. Okay. Right well, so I could take income right now, and if I do, well, that's not actually too bad because mm. I'm producing three ore. Yeah. Ore is currently worth four. That's twelve money. So that that went. Uh, I'm already getting a bit. Confused. It went up because yeah, uh, the, there's more yeah. silver being produced, and because there's more silver being produced, yeah, the value of ore. But goes also, up. when you did more ore by pulling the back out, yes. there was more of that. Which yeah, anyway, yes, okay, yeah, but yeah, okay. But I'm not going to. I'm going to write, and I know the town doesn't need any more wood at the moment, but yeah. it, it, it's going to at some point in the future. But. Do I want that to go up? That's the that's permits. permits which are used for plots. No, I don't know which one I want to go up. The permits used for permits plots. Permits used for buying stuff from here. Yeah, but also getting more miners in. Oh yeah. But it's I'm looking at here. I'm looking at which of these I want to unlock. Yeah. So I mean, if I want to unlock my pelicans. Yeah. I need to be building wooden buildings. So that's what I'm going to do. Played rights. I'm spending one money, and I'm taking that, putting it there, and then these are going like so. Right. End of round. We're done. End of round. Now it said here something might happen at the end of the round. Uh oh. See, see above, and I didn't see anything above. It says a number of other things can happen at the end of the round. Oh, that's based on all of that. So all that happens now is we either pay our taxes of zero. Yeah. Or lose one reputation. I think I'll pay zero tax. I think I'll you. pay zero taxes as well. Yeah, good good move, everybody. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay. There's the oh and we passed out. Oh, I'd love you that. You take our cards back? And you get your cards back. Nice. Okay. I'm not seeing what to do now then, am I? Round two. Fight. Um <laughs> sorry. Yeah, what did we do? Um ding ding. So this is... So now when you go mining, you draw two tiles and choose the top one. And if this stack ever runs out, we shuffle the discards and put them in. Okay. You don't resort them. Okay. So there might be a mixture of ones, twos, and threes. So, okay. hmm. so you're currently winning in the mines. Uh well right now I am getting Two points for this one because he's the only one in a row that's worth nothing. Yeah. This is three stars, so it's two points for that one as well. Yeah. It's not much. I don't know what a good score is. No. The board goes round to eighty, but if you've played it before, what's what's your score? And Peter, what's a good winning score for a three player game? For a first game. We'll talk about the red patrician buildings maybe at the start of next round. Oh, isn't it tricky? Yeah, it is. Um Let's go with. So it's all. It's I all mean, wood is cheap. Now, temptations. Right? So all wood is cheap. To... The town doesn't want this building. No. I can't build this building because of that. But in theory, okay, normally sixty to seventy. The, the it's really you're going to buy something that works. Um, but then that would mean you. Yeah, I can see it in my mind. It's cool. 
this is really nice mm. so if i go mining yeah you'll need wood that will increase the population it, by it one might. it'll increase the oh oh i see it depends on what depends on the thing. tile mm. you're going to pick up two, two tiles choose, choose one, one. Hmm. Ma'am. If you build this mining thing, you see what's on it. Yeah, well, it's a bit expensive at the moment. Yeah. Um, I might. I might buy another plot. Okay, so it has to be yeah adjacent to an existing That's building why i want to build it but i buy it rather because i want that one which cost you six money there we are Thank you. second card second card um i think what i want to i don't know what i want to do um let's This is one of the ones where it's like, oh, actually, I've got five moves and I want to work out okay. <laughs> how that all fits in, doesn't it? Um, but let's, it's the first go, so don't worry too much about it. Um, oh, thinking about it, you've also got to think which of these two you play know, based on what's on know, the bottom half. That, that gets rid of the other one. Right, I'm getting mining. Okay. You don't need to buy a miner. No. You could if you wanted to. It would be... Uh, one permit, which would cost you four money, and okay. you would move one miner across to there. I'll not worry about it for okay. now. So, so I take mining two. technology level is two. Have two tiles. Choose which one you want. Discard the other one. Um. So, it. So the when the coal production increases, the ore production. Oh yeah. So the ore ore production increases. Yeah. That's going to reduce yes, the price of ore and increase the price of, of silver. Silver. Um. Uh, it's also going to increase my uh, ore production, production yeah. here. Um, and... Ah, so, okay. Am I meant to show you these? Hey, well, we're going to see the one that you discard. Okay, so. right. So, this is interesting because it's a more expensive mine, but it also no, increases no, no. the population. So the cost is based on what's there already. That okay. Oh, that's what, what it is ones. afterwards. Yeah. Yes. So, so the you're going to either pay one wood to put it there, one yeah. to put it there, four to put it there, four to put it there, or two to put it there. Yeah, okay. So if I increase the population, that might increase the price of my eventual beer production, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's in my interest. Um, now, what's the advantage or disadvantage of building below you? It's in a row that's got currently one star. This mm. row currently has three stars. But this one has zero. This row currently has zero stars. Okay. So I could build along from you and get two stars there. There, there yeah, looks like that, a good place. Doesn't it just? Let's do that. Okay. Um, so that goes to the discard pile. That's costing me two much, right? Uh, one. Oh, so yes, one wood. Nah, one wood is currently worth two. Two, so I'll have three back. Back. You. And you put your miner on it. Put my miner so on it. Your ore production goes up by one. Okay, well. And then ore production here goes up by one. Hooray. Relation goes up by one. Hooray. Now they want a wood building again. Hooray. And everything's right in the world. You're all done? Yep. Yeah. You look like you're going to be taking some income soon. It's you, it would be. seem sensible. Yeah. Well, I had a plan. I am now changing that plan. Oh, player interaction. I am going to claim a plot and I'm going to be placing that building and that's blue and there's no blue dot on the board. Blue dot. Till I build my church, I can't see anything else that will give you okay. a blue dot. So I'm going to place it in the middle. No, it has to be next to an existing building. Oh, not an existing So I'm going to spend plot. all money and I'm going to claim that plot there. <laughs> uh, that's the first card and then my second card is I am going to build so I'm going to spend the five wood which is price two nice. that cost me ten and I'm going to put that there 
And what that does is it increases my wood production by five. The price, the, the wood production goes up by one. Uh oh. It's is it going to be cheaper? Is it going to be cheaper? It is. Look at that. The price of wood is now one. Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, and that flips over. But more importantly, uh -huh. I get a pelican. Insert noise of pelican here. Uh -oh. I don't know what noise pelicans make. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> All right. You're done. Two cards done. Yes. Uh, so I'm going to start with right. Blue represents the inner city. I'm going to pay one. Ah, right. Okay. To take the butchers. Yeah. Um, and am I building or am I plotting? Well, wood's very cheap. So I'm building. Wood is very cheap right now. Oh no, the butchers. Oh, not the butchers. The butchers. <laughs> Building next to the candlestick maker. <laughs> no, because I had a plan. Would Did cheap. it involve a canal? <laughs> um, well, I was going to do them two. And then I was going to do probably... I need the, the price of wood to go up before I take income. Right now, <laughs> it's a bit rubbish. Which means you need the population to get up. Yeah. Which means you need to do some more mining. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, it's good. A bit tricky to know what to do. Um, but you're probably going to be doing... I'll risk it. I'm going to do plot. Mm. How much am I paying for a plot? Well, it depends where you put it. it. You could put it there for four. Six, 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 four. None of them are five anymore. No. So the buildings are colour coded for historical accuracy to encourage you to build the buildings where they historically were. Nice. So that's why there's no blue around the outside, because mm. that was the inner city. Um, I'll go there then. That cost you four. Controversial. Okay, so I think I've got a plan. Uh, I'm gonna get some rights. Okay. To you want a brewery? Cost you one money. Go. Um, and then I'm going to get some income, Ooh. which is on one of these cards. Here we go. First time. First time. Income. So what are you producing? I'm producing silver and ore. So three silver, which so, is valued at four, so that's 12. 12. And one ore, it's valued three. at three, so you get 15. 15. Thank you. Very nice. There you go. And would you like to spend 10 of that to move one of these invisible patricians no, I would not. Okay. <laughs> good good choice. All right. Well, what are you going to do to make the wood price go up? <laughs> I'm going to go mining. <laughs> so first thing I'm going to do is use a permit, which yeah. costs four money. Yeah. Because you need to buy your two miners. To buy two miners, which go in there. Yeah. Then we're going to go mining. I draw two tiles. Yeah. Now then. I am going to choose that one. Okay. I'm going to put it there. Yeah. For one wood. Yeah. Which is currently one. So one. It increases my ore production by one. That ore production by one. Yeah. Population by one. Oh, they still don't still like much. <laughs> and I stick a miner on it. Okay. That's your first action. And then I'm going to send Barbara. Here we go. Two reputation points coming your way. Ding, ding. Very and nice. we'll have our tax price increased by zero. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah. Be well, because a player flipped it over, you ignore that. Oh, okay. okay. So it wouldn't have gone up anyway. Oh, I see. It only goes up if it happens because of one of these. Yeah. So tax is not rising very high. 
For now. For now. <laughs> right. That's because nobody's built the public building yet. I'm going to do a building. Yep. I'm going to build the butchers for eight. Wood. Eight money. I was trying to up the price of wood, but yeah. <laughs> they, really they weren't having any of it. It's going to go there. Okay, so what does that do? It does stuff. Um, Increases your food production by five. This is my top row. This goes up. So I'm going to guess that drops to three or two. Yeah. Two. two. Uh, population goes up by one. There we go. I don't mind. Build their winding wood. And <laughs> they build this, which means the tax uh, now goes up to one. Nice. What happens if you I can't don't... pay the tax? You lose the reputation. Okay. I haven't spotted the, um, the symbols on yeah, here. We'll go on to that in a minute. You get them if you're doing it. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you get to build this. Yep. Which immediately you take one of those top three public buildings yeah. without paying for it. I have my eye on certain ones. Uh, what's and the then let's one? have a quick look at those. the Basilica. Not the Basilica. The what's theater. this again? Houses next to Houses building. next to public buildings. Yeah. Or Can you pass me my pointy stick of power, please? Going in Where there. am I looking? Just down there. Just, just in the, in it's on the table. Just no, down, down. It's a chopstick. I don't. I, here. Just I can't the, see it. Right, no, I'm following yeah, your finger. Ah, yeah. there it is. Right. Thank you. Sorry, when you like here, it's... it was invisible. Yeah. <laughs> so what do these things do? What do what's it? Oh, these. These things. Yeah. Right. Let's go through. It's a wand. Number three. So number three is lose a reputation. Yeah. Choose a guild you on your board. Um, when you build it, you have to take this bonus action. That's a good question. Is it optional? I don't know. Okay. So you... But lose a reputation. Yeah. Uh, choose a guild on your board. Remove the leftmost house. Yeah. To increase production of that commodity by two. Okay. So you're binning one. You literally you get rid of a house, but yeah. the commodity goes up by two. This one. Gain a reputation, take a plot action, you pay nothing for it, and you can put it anywhere. Okay. Lose two reputation, then take two income actions. Wow. Just for the person who's doing this cathedral build. Yeah. This one, gain two points. Yeah. Take a patrician token from the bank, okay. replace it in, in its space. Yeah. Uh, this one is... For houses. each of your buildings, yeah. gain one reputation for each public building next to it, okay. which is like the patrician scoring. This one building all... you own or anyone? Any? Yeah. Because you don't own public okay, buildings. Yeah, yeah. Gain one point, take a building action, but don't pay any money. So build it for free. Yeah. This one, take two mining actions for free, and you get the miner for free as well. This one... Uh, choose one of your buildings and score one point for each matching dot on adjacent buildings or edge of the board. So basically, final like final scoring. Yeah. And this one, five points. Oh, and flip the tile over, and then anybody else doing it from then on, you flip it over, you will see it gets two reputation. Okay. So that's what all of the cathedral spaces do, which makes a bit more sense now. Okay. So what was that one again? Two mining actions okay. that don't cost anything and you get three miners for them. Okay, Fraser, yeah. you're... Oh, no, oh no, no, you've got a second turn. turn. Yeah. Um, so, I haven't got enough to build that. To build the hammer works. Mm. Do a joker, but then you need six. Well, mining is going to get me the stuff. I haven't done any mining yet. So it could cost two wood, it could cost four wood. Four, two. Four, two. Oh no, it's four. You always pay the higher of the costs. Okay. You might want to do an expensive one while it's cheap to That's do it. That's what I was thinking, yeah. It is, it is. Wood is currently still cheap. But why would you want to be all the way down there? This is two. a better row, isn't it? Well, oh, you no. want to get down there eventually, though. Why, why? Well, because you'll have filled up the other ones. So you have to fill up the other also, this patrician oh, scoring yes. is one for being on every road, which is not why I did that, but because I've forgotten about that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, <sighs> or just start over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, all right. A well, rival mine. Um, so do you want to buy an extra miner for the cost of five? No. Okay. So I'm going to... 
Uh, so you take two tiles. Take two tiles. Choose the one you want. So it's four on them, and then price of four going down. Activation point. Activation, but that doesn't increase my. I'm going to sh show you this. Yeah, yeah. This just doesn't really help me. It's the population goes up and you gain one point. Yeah, there's no income but, on it. There's no income on it, but you get a miner on it for the purposes of the end game. And it might sort your oh, wood out Oh, and it's got a star well. on it. Yeah, exactly. So it yeah. makes that row more valuable yeah. as well. Okay, well, it's not good for me right now, so I'm going to do the... So you pay two wood, which is two money. Yeah. You place a miner on it. Place a miner on it. Move my track up by two. And Go take on. two cards, yeah. So that one, that one, they slide in the bottom. Yep. That's it. Okay. Done? Done. Right. Final turn for round two. Building. Oh, we forgot to slide the rights. Got to slide the rights. The blue one. Oh, for what did you buy? Slide the rights. Slide the rights. Oh, when I built. I thought um, I just saw that on or had been slid, but maybe I'm getting confused. Did someone build a building? No, no, place? nobody's built one of those. Does he mean these? Did somebody take one of these? Uh what did we forget to do? With, With green, green patrician. patrician. What green patrician? I've got a green patrician here, but I've not built it. Oh, so when you took that, yeah. we were supposed to do that. Ah, oh, that's it. Right, okay. slide to the right, yes. Is that did I get it? From oh yes, those rights yeah. to the right. Yes, I'm not really confused. Yeah. Right. Okay. Because so you I, got you did that because yeah. of Three. that. That's it. Okay. But we did do it when when I got the brewery. So I think that's so, right. Yeah. Okay. Right. So okay. I'm building my brewery now. For uh, cheap, 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 cheap. Nine wood. Yeah, they're pricing your own ones, aren't they? Mine was eight, eight wood. Oh, but they are sort of. I mean, this is cheap. Um, so I'll have one change, please. Okay. Thank you. So, you your production of beer goes up by three. Beer, beer, beer. Three. Beer is now being produced, so that moves up to okay. there. That uh, the change, population goes up by one. They don't want any words. And then town builds this, so taxes Ooh. go up by one. I didn't see that. Flips over. Okay. And that flips over and you pop your little house on it. Well, we're doing a terrible and public building procedure. Top top row. Row. And then you get to claim one of the public buildings. Oh, because that got flipped? Nope. No. Because that's what that is. Ah, oh, okay. Good. Well, I'm going to have to start Do the building right them. action, but only for a public building and for free. Right. And then slide the rest of it, which we forgot last time. So uh, I've got to think about what I'm joining this onto, haven't I? Uh, let's go with, okay. couldn't need the population to go up even more. Yeah. Okay. I've got half a plan. So let's go with half a plan. Um, there we are. So it's free. Thank you. Yep. So we don't have to do anything here. All right. My turn. Well. Is it your last one? It is. So I could do rights rather than income. Yeah, let's 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 hang hang off. So I'm gonna do rights. When I did that mine, I didn't buy the two people. Oh no, because no, you, you did that's yeah, 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 as well. Got you. Um so I'm gonna take so I can't take that because permits are five and yeah. I've only got three. So it's going to have permits to be something. Price, here. Is it worth building the permit building? Well, I'm just looking at what we've got. See, they, this is rubbish now at the end of the game because it's only next to that. Oh, no, it's next to that. So it's worth two points. Yeah. I mean, if you got that next to the oranges, we'll all get points. <laughs> that is true. And it's five points. You'll be getting an income of 15. I know it's going to go down, but... At the moment, that's 15 income. Yeah, I think that's what I was going to do. So I do write, I pay one, pay one money, and we'll all that goes there. 
cheaper permit. That goes there. I like the player interaction. That goes there. there. <laughs> and that's it. Okay. That's my good one. I'm taking income. So I've got five food at three is 15. I've got four wood at one is four, so 19. And two or at 25. Six. 20, 24? 24? Uh, 25. 25. Yeah. Done. End of the round. Yeah. Everybody has to pay two money or lose one reputation. <laughs> I have two money. Right. Round three. So, shall we just pause and have a look at these? What's going to happen at the end of round three? Is the red patrician buildings are going to come in? Red so what we do is at the end of this round at the end of this round uh shuffle the tiles separate them and then place one at the end of each row on here okay. unlike other tiles these are not grouped in one stack but these tiles are now available so one of them's gonna get binned is there four no, there's there? Three. three there so one goes there's one goes there one goes there which means from now on we have four columns okay so there could be a and what's special about them more well, taxes on there. Well, I mean, that one gets you two pelicans. They all Pale get two pelicans thing. when you build them. Oh, they've all got exactly the same. Okay. Two pelicans, bin off the house, get a red patrician. Well, two population. Red patrician arrives yeah. In here. Yep. Two population and two taxes. They're all the same. The only difference is the symbols on the top left. Right. Okay. So, my go. So, re this red area. Yeah, because there's no there's no other way, way of getting the red people. Mm -hmm. So I don't think I can do anything other than I've got no money. <laughs> so I have to take income. Yeah, that's what I did. Ah, I want the price of wood to go up. I know. Because I, I, I can't even do a mining action because that's going to require wood. I mean, you've got loads of... Um... Oh, you've got a bit of ore. I mean, what I could have done is not... You let me change my mind yeah sure. i won't pay my taxes and instead i'll lose the reputation Ooh. yeah fair enough if i do that i can now mine because and... you can buy the wood no i still can't afford it again <laughs> you can pay two for the wood can't you so building where oh there's, because there's that's four, four there's four there's oh, four there's four three. there's four. Oh, the higher amount three three and three yeah so there isn't anywhere i could build for two so no, forget that. I will just take income. So I am producing five wood, which is five, four ore, so it's 12, so 17. It's not, it's not too bad, is it? Like yeah, 17, I've got 25, so it's not that far off. But now I can build. Oh. No, I can't. I no. don't have a plot. Get plotting. I might. Oh, I'm like, um, what plastic? You've got. Um, oh. What are that? What's it say? Oh, assay. It's an assay office. Yeah. I mean, that would have been fantastic if if I'd have got that out before taking yeah. income. Fifteen, just for that one building. That would have been great. Well, I, I 15, suspect. It's gonna move. I suspect the price of stuff is going to go up. So I am going to plot. Yeah. And it's going to cost me. Oh, well, yeah. I know, I know where I want the to highest build it. amount it's again. The highest amount. They've got eights, sixes, eights. I mean, and the sixes. cheapest one is here, but there is not going to be worth any points at the end of the game. So this is where reputation's going to kick in. It. Oh, it's going to cost me one. Oh, you're free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're you're free. <laughs> oh, brilliant. It's not free. It cost me one. I mean, um, the number three. Yeah. Free population. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, he's gone there. So how did you, you get your population up again. so quick? My reputation. You did what? Yeah, reputation did one, one there. there. Did I build this? Oh yeah, that's it. That gave you two. So because I got the pelican. Right, two actions done. Yeah. So to get my reputation up, I need to build another wood building, but no one wants the wood building. Nope, can't build another wood building. Uh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, I've got no idea what I'm going to do now then, because that is. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going, to do, I'm going to do a plot. And now probably nine. 
build, I guess. Plot and build. Wood's cheap as well. I think it's time to start, Paul. Oh, and just, just as a reminder, if you're watching this and you missed at the start, there is a contest. CGE are kindly supporting the show by uh, giving a copy of this game away to one lucky winner. And if you want to enter that contest, all you need to do is fill in a Google form. You won't be able to answer all of the questions in that form yet. I will put a link to it in the chat right now. And also, we're going to do a poll. Start a poll. Is that that? Yeah, we're going to start a poll. Here we go. <laughs> Green. Yeah. Green. Yep. Blue. Feel free to take your turn. Yeah, I'm okay. Gonna so I'm going to build the first public building. Oh! Uh, it's nice and cheap. It's nine wood, which is going to cost me nine. All right, the pole uh, is up. Have some change from your pole. Please. You're spending nine money. Yeah, and that's going to go there, which all the symbols nicely match. Right, so we've got our first public building. Let's have a look at what we've got. Mm. So you've spent the nine money for the nine wood. Yeah. yeah. You gain three victory points, which I'm is up, immediate. I'm up. You gain a pelican. Pelican. Mm. Over there, please. The taxes okay. go up by one. Uh-oh. Uh, we get one population yeah. arriving into town and a green attrition enters here so population up by one and now the income action people can decide i still don't in. want any more wood buildings yeah <laughs> okay so that was that action then i was going to build the pelican do the pelican uh we flip in this and put oh, yeah, and, thing on and it. that gets flipped nope not it's, it's public it. building. this is a public building okay i'm going to build st barbara yep so you pelican. flip a pelican over yeah, that's you gain one one reputation, and you can place a plot marker anywhere in the city without paying for it. Place a plot marker anywhere in the city one without those, yeah. paying for it. If people want to go next to you, next to the things for there's a reason people want to go next to them, isn't there? Being next to the public buildings, what was that? this oh yeah one point not a huge amount is it one point one point per patrician per public building that you're next to all right so okay. you fucker you're <laughs> both putting the mate exactly oh come on the, uh, the right thing is quite i quite like it because you can do it well in advance mm -hmm. mm. Mm. you can sort of claim something yeah yeah you're not blocking you're not being blocked because you're not buying something that you then can't use because in theory you've already put the right thing down yeah that's really nice well that's tricky now um right you've done your two so i'm gonna do um let's get some uh, these so rights minus two reputation yeah but you get to do double income double income i'm gonna get this one because you're one money okay one money. One money. Good bounce. Um, now then. That's now a little tricky. That's mm. a little tricky. Okay. Let me see. Still can't build that sawmill. So I think one of the plans was still there, but what is he? What what is what is tricky old Paul going to be doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what you going to do? Um, right, I think it's probably time for me to get some income. Okay, okay. so you're producing. Three beer. Three beer. Valued at five. Yep, so that's 15. 15. Uh, three silver at four, which is 12. another 12. 27. And one ore at three, which is 30. 30 money. Would you like to spend 10 
to move that to there. Um, what does that do for me? That set well, it, it, it sets a scoring condition for everybody, which will happen at the end of rounds four, five, and six. Which would be being next uh, buildings next buildings to buildings next to public buildings. That's the only place it can go. Yes. It just seems interesting that you have to pay for it to go there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess how many of these are going to come out? I'm going to say no for now. Okay. Because I don't know. And I probably still need to have some flexibility on the cash. Do we get to see the result on that? Uh, it's up there, actually. Uh, Obviously. And I think I think people are underestimating Dan on this one. Have I got where, my where, bottom where is the Where is the vote? I can't. I can't see. There you go. Oh, I'm losing big time. <laughs> what, what have I done wrong? People seem to have confidence in me. I don't know why. Uh, it's back to me, isn't it? Well, it, probably because you've done a different strategy to everybody else, firstly, but also because you're poor and this is your channel. That's and you true. You tend to do well. And she so, gave us that tenner before the game. To yeah, that was it. <laughs> so well, it's the cake. That sort of the was. cake. Yeah. Um, so Woody's still, still low, really cheap, which isn't good for us. Though, yeah. So I think this might be a good time to build a public building. Yeah, that's what I just did. Because that public building gets me a pelican. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I want a thing in there because of that. So I think I'm going to do it. So you're going to write some. Cathedral? I am going to no. I'm going to write and building. No, it's cafe. I oh, can't. Yeah. I can't write and building. You... <laughs> you don't oh, use I'd have to use my joker. I didn't do that. It's joker minus one or two. It's minus one. Minus one. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> that's terrible. yeah. Because you're going to take uh, a minus two here if you do that. Because I I did have another plan. So I might have to change my plan. Then should keep that pelican in front of him. What the one? That yes. I've, I've yeah. You you flip it. You keep it over. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thank you. So uh, let's have a change of plan. Let's do a mine. Yeah. And I'm not going to spend a permit. Permit surprise. I thought he was building this. Ah. For permit income. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. This is not going to change. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can't, because I haven't got the building, actually. I haven't got the building card. Too many things to do. I don't want to spend a joker. So, right. So I get two of these. Yeah. Now. now that's interesting. That is interesting. Because that is double star. Mm. Double star on here. A lot of stars. Would be a lot yeah. of stars. But... Yeah, it's that, whereas it doesn't increase that. I'm going to take that one. I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it there. So that cost me four money. Yeah. That's the current price of wood. Get a point. You get a point. Ta -da -da -da. You put a miner on it. And the population. Population goes up by one. Do they want more wood? Do they want more wood? No. <laughs> I'm just going to have a look at these cards. Yeah. Right. When it gets to 11. They want more That's wood. when they're going to want more wood. Wow. Are these so just building that, the start of the game? No, 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 they're fixed. Okay. So just building that one wooden production building yeah. means that that's it until population 11. Yeah. Right. You got another go? Uh, yes. Girls who participate in Barbara building were the most important ones in the city. I'm going to do it again. Double mine. Okay, so I'm going to buy a permit, which costs five. Buy a permit? Oh, for the miners. In order to get two miners. Yeah. Then I'm going to do this again. Three stars. Wow. We're in level two, are we? Uh, we're in the level twos, yeah. Wowzers. The cathedral is the purple thing at the yes. top. Yes, St. Barbara's Cathedral. I don't know which one of these I want. I think I'm going to take the one with the three stars. Now, where am I going to build it? Better says you can get a lot of points for used pelicans, which I guess is yeah. this here. Hmm. 
So we're going to build this. I can't know where I'll put here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not where I thought. So it's going to cost you four wood, which is four money. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to put it there. Hmm. Done. Oh, population. Uh, population goes up by one. Population is now nine. Still no wood building. No. <laughs> Did you buy anything from here? You didn't, did you? No, I just I just did two lots of mines. Hmm. Permits are so pricey. Blue. Okay, I'm gonna mine yeah i'm mining so pick up to uh yeah a5. So to spend five money yeah to get two miners yeah and then pick draw two tiles two choose one let's just have a look at this mine it's looking quite good uh, can you is that that's overlaid on the thing yes your the vote on the left screen yes i can't seem to hide it oh, okay Yes, means we can't see the bottom of the chat. Bottom of the chat's there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> if you can read that. <laughs> what you got two screens for. Yeah. Um, oh, man. So, so the, being uh, on a star uh, is uh, important. It's not for how many stars are in the row. Now, at the moment, are you getting one, two, three, four stars? I guess. At the, at the moment... Blue is getting one star on that row. Purple is getting one star on that row. So they are they are tied. But what, what, what the, the row has a total of four stars. Therefore, the row is currently worth oh. that. Oh, so it's if you've got the most on the row. Yeah. Okay. So at the moment, purple and blue are tied for the most. So yeah. they both score two points so each. Just for my thinking, then, whilst that's got a lower income than that, it's got the star, which would put me on joint points for this row. Uh, it means we would all have one star on this row, yeah, and this row would have five stars, so it's still this, yeah, but we'd all get two points, okay. And you only get points if you are on any stars, if you're not on any stars, it's got no stars, you don't have them. Yeah. If you had one of the okay, two stars know. you were putting down, that would have put you in the lead, mm. right? So I've got to pay three wood, three coins. Um, my ore, ore production goes up by two, and then the price of ore goes up by two. Right. No, not the price goes up by two. Two more is being produced. Two more is being produced. Yeah, so they go to the bottom. So the price is actually going down. Yeah. Yeah. In theory. And then I put my miner on there. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That was my mine action. Um, uh, I'm going to... I'm going to do exactly the same again. Okay. I'm not going to buy any more workers. No. Um, Got heavily mining. Um, mm. Yeah, we need some public buildings to unlock the wood. Yes. Yeah, because lots of... Um, People flock to town with the public buildings. Oh, yes. That costs four wood, which is four money. Put my worker on it. Put your miner on it. And population goes up to ten. And the um, wood has gone up to two. Okay. They still don't want oh, any wooden buildings. Just but... when I was about to yeah. build my public building as well. <laughs> the price of wood has doubled. So I guess it's now in my interest to... And it's not really going to go up again until you build another uh, down again, unless you build another. Which we can't do until the population reaches eleven. So I'm stuck now. I'm I'm stuck with with a double price mm -hmm. thing. But uh... Peter says I'm going to make Fraser rich with that heavy mining operation. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What have you got? Oh, uh, well, I'm about to build an air shaft, conceivably, or I was going to build a. A public building. Oh, is it because you've got a... I can't do a double building because I went and did that on the income one. It's because you've got a smelter out, yeah. isn't it? And I'm making the price of the 
silver go up? I think so. Yeah, because if that goes down, that goes up. Yeah. But if yeah. I now build a mine, it's yeah. going to put it down again. Lots of ore helps the silver smelting. I mean, I've got silver smelting. I know, it makes that cheaper and that goes up as well. Okay, I think, let's find out what happens. I, um, uh, yes, I've still got that. Yeah, so, I'll do next poll. Income. <laughs> Building. The a mine. mine. Yeah. Oh, no, hang on, that's the wrong flipping thing, mining. isn't it? Building, building the building, okay, yeah. building a mining building. Okay, you're building the air shaft, which um, is two wood, so that costs you four. Yep. Okay. Oops. Okay, it's there. Okay. So the mining technology tile is yep. yours. Ooh, we're on free. Where do I put it? Oh, it's just a, a thing to go it's here. A thing to go here. You get a free miner, and you don't pay any money for it. I get a free miner, and I don't pay any money for it. Uh, so I'm okay. So, so Dan's kind of got this row. Is it? Is well, he's it, got four stars on the row. Am yeah. I literally getting three yeah. points? Yeah, or is it three points per it's three person? points? Yeah, it's not a lot, is it? If I'm gonna be going somewhere, I might as well go to the most pla expensive place, I reckon. So, I'm gonna go here, which is four, which is. Five, sure. Oh, because no. Up. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so maybe down is four as well with this one. So it's either yeah, there, 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 there. It's all four. Does it? I'm not sure it makes any great difference, does it? Unless you're going for. Well, yeah. I mean, but, but I've only got one row at the moment, one yeah. on run row, so it doesn't in that respect. Uh, but it might make it cheaper for everybody else if I were to go there. So I won't do it. Okay. Um, so we've done that. We've done that. Then your ore production on not the bottom row, but yep. No, no, oh, no, not, not the bottom product. row. Yes, you're right. Sorry, there that we are. one goes up by two. Yep. Didn't you have a right two. in there? Oh, you've built it there. You've actually built it there. I see. Look at that. Yep. How about ah. that? All done. Yep. And so... then you put your little house on it, which gets you a pelican. One pelican, please. So that was the first one. And I guess I might as well do a pelican action now, wouldn't I? It's the cathedral action, St. Barbara. Yep. Yeah, so I flip. So your reputation goes down by two. Eh? Eh? Oh, I have to do that one. That's the next one. Oh. Are you going to get two? I, so there was there was a question of, is it optional? Okay. I don't think it's optional because you wouldn't... Why would you want to spend... Yeah. I thought I was going to be going up, and I'm going no, down. No, that's a down, but you do get to um, you get double income. Double income. And your price is double income. Oh yeah, all right, fair two, enough. Yeah, I'll 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 be Mr. Moneybags then. Yeah. So reputation down by two. Uh, reputation down by two, and now income followed by income. Income followed by income. So what you're producing? Right. So um, three beer. Three beer is fifty. So that's 18. 18. Um, uh, two or... It's four. four. So it's 22. 22. Three silver is 15. Yeah, so 37. And one or... 39. Times two. Double. 78. <laughs> Money's not that important, to, uh, apparently. <laughs> Now, but I don't think I ever need to do income ever on again. On each of those income actions, you could yep. have spent 10 to put that there. If you feel that that's going to benefit you. Can anyone watching? I've just messed up my reputation. I can't remember if I was on one or two. I don't know. I don't know what you did earlier. So I've, I've, I've definitely got one from. You got one from that. There, and then one of these. I, I did that, I think. Did you do that? What is that? Get a free building. Get a free. Yeah, thing. that's do the right action for free. I, I don't think, think you I did think, that. I think I might have done that one. Didn't you do... didn't do that one. The the the, the I, game did that did one. Did I get a plot? Did you get a plot one, anywhere two, three, for free? Four. I might have done that. I think I should be on two. Okay. If anyone in the chat wants to should yep. tell me I'm wrong. Should then. Dan be on two reputation? Yeah. Sorry. Right. You done? Uh, I guess so. Yeah, I've got. Stacks of cash. How much money did you just get? Like I, I, seventy-eight. I've got wow. seventy-eight, which now puts me on uh, 
110. It's all off camera. <laughs> he has lots and lots of... Uh, okay, uh, hang on. Well, I can't... Uh, yes, just okay. pop it here. Pop it there. Okay, well, I, I, oh, yes, because it's... Yeah. And you're only on minus one reputation. It's not actually a detrimental... Well, yeah. Maybe I should do, do a Joker action while I'm at it. <laughs> so, I, I don't... Again, I don't know whether I want to take income. What would I get? I'd get 10, 12, I'd get 18. See, I shouldn't have taken that income much. It's not great, is it? No. <laughs> but I only have three money. So Skycross says you were on two. Thank you, yeah. I'm going to have to take income. So I take income, and I think I've just worked it out that it's 18. Because it's five wood at two, which is 10. And four or yeah, eighteen money. Yeah. Not quite the thirty-nine that you got. <laughs> I'm doing. But yes, as, as somebody said earlier on, I, I was focusing <laughs> on stars. Yeah. And I should have actually been improving my production. So mm. my income is five times four is twenty. Four times two is eight. Twenty-eight. Oh, I was meant to be thinking about eight. this as well, wasn't I? Sorry. Thirty-six. I am next to one, so I will. All right. Do you spend ten for that? Okay. Did you say I could do it twice? Or no, it's only one only guy once. Only once, but theoretically twice, because there's the you did two income actions. Right. Oh, sorry, no. yeah. Thirty six, I think. Thirty six. It's yeah. just me that's got rubbish income. Twenty eight. Twenty eight. I think the poll on who's going to win. Might yeah, I was going to say now he thinks Paul's going to win. <laughs> Thirty six. Yeah, right, you're all done. Crazy. Your final. Oh wow, we've gone round again Turn. already, have we? And then it's end of round. Um. Yeah, well yeah. then. Uh, I think I will buy a plot. Can't go into second row right now. Yeah, which I've got to pay for because I've got no rep. Six. But uh, that's fine because I've got loads of money. Loads of money. Okay, right, we're done. End of the round. Everybody has to pay three in taxes or lose one reputation. Oh no, three. <laughs> <laughs> But also owe oh, no reputation for that matter. <laughs> okay, and then we go to here. So we're now in round four. He's got shuffled. And the red ones come out. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Just show everybody what they look like. So each one of them gives you two pelicans. You re you remove a house from your board. Yeah. Remove one house from your player board, the leftmost in each row, but ignore its effect. Population goes up by two, taxes go up by two, and a red patrician enters the town hall. Okay. Um... Get cards back. Round four. So at the end of this round, and round five and round six, we do the patrician scoring. And we do okay. the patrician scoring. Oh, in here. So which is basically, at the moment, one point for blue, one point for green. Okay. Right now. Okay, I'm going to do something a bit off the wall. I'm going to... Permits have gone up to six. Right. And I will take this hospital. You know, you still haven't built a flipping... I know. Um, Who's getting these points? At the scriptorium end? or whatever. Well, whoever's got a building next to it. So that, you're going to get two points for that building at the end of the game because it's next to two yellow dots. Got ya. Yeah, I'm taking that one. So you took from here? Yeah. I paid one for it. Yep. Yeah. Um... Woods are expensive. All of two, I know. Mm. Yeah, well, I'm not going to at least worry about my, the, the cost of it anymore like I was just now. Yeah. So. <laughs> paying four, please. Build a plot. There. Okay. Okay. Done. It's your two then. Okay, where's my building cards? 
an upside down things. Right, okay, well I can use the uh, the one that's got income on it, can't I? Um, let's go with building St George's Chapel over here. That's going to cost you 18 money. Yep. Well, it's going to go up. Oh, that's a that one. Yep. Okay, so you gain three victory points. All right. You gain a pelican. Gain a pel pelican. Population goes up by one. The town won't wood. And the taxes mean, go up by one. Pelican, pelican, so right. And a green patrician enters the town hall. Da -da -da -da. Okay. When is it that I decide what I'm doing with the guy? Uh, when anybody takes income. They may move. Ah, gotcha. One I'm not going to be doing any more of that then. Onto um, their appropriate space. Uh, so then I will be doing St. Barbara. Flip the pelican. Flip the pelican. Gain two victory points. Right. And populate any Oops. one of these spaces with a token from the bank. Uh, which ones again? Any one of these. Ah, yes. Okay. Which one is good for you? Uh, well, I've flipped two pelicans now. Who else has flipped two pelicans? Yeah. Then you got one. That one's quite good for you as well. Uh, which is just completed sheer rows. number of oh, she's not completed rows of removed buildings. Oh, columns. Yeah, yeah. Columns. Sorry. Sorry. Um. Yeah. That one. Yeah, why not? Okay. Okay, doke. So and that's that. And that's that. And that's that. I'd already flipped it. Oh, thank you. Uh, this no, one. that one. There you go. I'd already flipped you have still yeah. had already flipped it. Right. Well, the game's starting to open oh. up a little bit now. And I've just twigged that I don't score that bit because this is that's not hard. Your... But at least at least that one does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I want to build something with a blue thing on it mm. next to that which i had in mind until you but oh, you no. nicked the plot this one this is so pricey so you want this you want here or here really then well I, you could still do that going this way but yeah that's why i was cursing you when you built there and similarly here as well actually that would have also worked rather well well yeah, me not producing permits has, is really hurting my income. Why don't you produce some purchase, permits then? I was going to. <laughs> I mean, that can go there, but it's only one blip. Yeah. Where? Yeah, yeah they... but it's next to a public building, which, yeah. is, which is good for this. Oh, yes. Yes. And it gets me that, which I was going to do anyway. And it's the equivalent of 18 income. I think I was going to do that anyway. So yeah. Nice. I play the building card. I spend 10 money because wood's blooming expensive. Yeah. I put that in the only place I can, which is there. I mean, surely wood's going to keep going up. right? Hey, you can build one now, though. You, you can, can build more wood buildings. Yeah. So I increase my permit production by three. He's off the mark. And this moves up by one. The permits are out. Oh, that's a drop of two. Done that. Done that. Flip it over. No population uh, on it. Put a thing on it. And I get one of these public buildings for free. And the one I wanted was, oh, now I could take one of the red ones. And that's a pretty big win there. Mm. Oh, there's more than there's more than three reds. I'm taking that one. Mm. All right. That one to me. Nope. One. My first turn, apparently. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, right. So now I can't build that because I don't have twenty money. Can I get a loan from Fraser? Mm, is it in the rules, better? I don't think so. No. <laughs> I'm going to play the mine action, and we're now looking at three tiles. I don't need a permit. So three tiles, and we need to be increasing my income. So the ones that don't increase my income are getting discarded. In the bin. And I'm going to place this. Now, is there anywhere cheap? There is. There. Is cheap. 
because there's only one wood mm. so that only cost me two and the price of the permits have gone down so you could that goes there so my ore production goes up by one yeah that goes up by one yeah and one i get point. a point one two points get nice. in this uh this thing here does that score well when you've got basically two columns worth do you score that double? yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. for each I, I think let me just check no it's if you have at least one mine in each of the rows i was actually trying to go for two separate rows. So, yeah, yeah just once i'm playing the rights mm. i'm going to buy the new sawmill for Ooh. a massive 10. cost 10 money to buy that yeah got a plan <laughs> Uh, and then I'm immediately going to build it. Build it there. Uh, so that's I said yes twice. Eight. I think one of them, I've already forgotten what, what I asked that he said <laughs> yes to. <laughs> the price of wood is going oh, the, down the, again. The, the, yeah, columns of. Yeah, okay. Uh, the reason I wanted that is one, two, three. Uh, what did oh no no it does sorry it does say if you have at least two in each row it's four points so it is yeah okay great apologies for that what there was that wrong. sorry so i've got one in each row yeah so i'm getting two points if i end up with two in each row yeah it's four yeah. points okay. yeah so it, it's for That's each what he was yesing to. full set of thank you yeah oh what's happened here you've built a wood production building you yeah. built a sawmill yeah. <laughs> so you've done that yeah your wood production went up by three. You've done that, yeah. but now the population goes up. Yeah. You've done the slidey as well, okay. Um, and then yeah. I put this on it, and I get two. Uh, is that another three? That's reputation? three reputation. One, two, three, so stuff happens now. Okay, so population is 12. Yeah. But price of wood has gone down to one. Crash down again. Yeah. I don't know why I did that, but... <laughs> Keeping the wood cheap for everyone. You done you done yours, haven't you? Yeah. Right. So I mean, it was a really good tile because it's the dot and it's next to the thingy. Well, what have you just placed? Wait, this that one, yeah. It's got matching dots. Oh, it has loads of matching next dots. To, That's three points. And it's next to a cathedral uh, a magic public building, yeah. Building. Magic building. <laughs> I magic building. <laughs> <laughs> uh dear. Um it's probably time for me to get a plot. What's this, Paul? Oh, yeah. Um, if your reputation is there, I think you're jokers, you don't lose any reputation. Oh. I think I think that's what that icon means. These aren't immediate. But I've not seen that. Point. Oh, yeah. If your reputation is six or higher, you can play your joker without losing reputation. Cool. And these points, you get them at the end. End of the game. Yes. Yeah, because yeah, it might be, might move Oof. around. It's going to be expensive, but I'm going to go here. Eight money for that plot. Yeah, they are. Let me two back, please. Well, you see, if you've got a low reputation, these plots yeah. are expensive. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm <laughs> working on that. Me and Dan know a guy. Yeah, we know. I'm working on that. Thank you. Over to you. Well, wood has suddenly uh, cheap. got cheap again. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I need to do income. So I'm now producing three permits that are worth five. Oh, hang on. I didn't do the... Thing a year. Oh, did you do a rights thing? Uh, yeah. Okay. So I've done income. So I've got three permits at five, so that's 15. Five wood at one, so that's 20. And four or six, 28. That's not bad. That's a bit better. Mm. 28. Nice. Then I build a building. No, I don't because I haven't got a plot. No. <laughs> <laughs> so then I play a plot. You lost the plot. And because I know a guy, it only yeah. cost me one. Now. There's not very many smelters out. I'm working on it. Oh, oh yeah. Done. With a pub right in the middle of all the smelters. Done? Yep. I'm going to do a building, and I'm going to build the hospital for a whopping eight coins. Mm -hmm. Thank you, banker. <laughs> and I'm going to put that there. So you spent the eight coins for the eight wood. So yeah. you get a pelican. Get a pelican, please. Thank you. Are they all the same? Yeah. Uh, 
Reputation of two. I'm in the magic zone. Population goes up by two. Yeah, by two. Oh, yeah. What's the magic zone do? Uh, Joker's stuff. Taxes go up by one. Oh, lovely. And a yellow patrician enters the zone. Town hall. Okay. Done. Done. Okay. Uh, I'm going to build a smelter. I'd love it if you did the poll again. <laughs> the poll is still running, yeah. but people it's people still, can't switch it, I think. It's still you need a, a well ahead. 52% of people say I'm going to win. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so that's going to go there. It's coming back. Cost you seven money? Seven money. Uh, yeah, I need everyone to start increasing the price yeah, of oh, 15 now, yeah. Right, so your silver production goes up by four. And this goes up by one. Yeah. This. And then that flips. That and flips. And you get a house. Got a house. Which gains you three reputation. Hurrah. One, two, three. Still not up here, though, because of the minus, but there you are. Building. Ten money. To ten wood. Town Hall. The Town Hall is going to be built right here. On the river. My and way. I'm going to destroy the rest of them. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Two so, pelicans. Oh, that's good. Two pelicans. Double pelican. Oh, that's a really good tile. Uh, I'm going to remove the leftmost house without getting a bonus. So I don't quite know what that's going to do for me. You're getting up into the points range, I guess. Yeah. Population goes up by two. Um, wood. Everybody would. <laughs> so now we're at population of 16. And taxis go up by two. Whew. I might need some more income. That flips. Bit. And that Blimey. is now worth a lot. loads of points at the end of the game. Well, oh, there's a little red man on it. There was. Oh, I know where I'm going to go next. Be done. No, a guy though. I think that is the end of round three. Yeah. So everybody has to pay seven taxes or lose two reputation. There's seven taxes. This money's going down very quickly now. Pepper. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And now we do thing. patrician scoring. Okay. Mm. We have two patricians. So first of all, we have one green patrician here. Yeah. So for each building you have, which yeah. is adjacent, so. For each building you have, you score one point for each public building it is next to. So, Dan, this one scores two points. This one scores one point. Mm -hmm. So you get three points. Fraser, this one scores one point. This one scores one point. So you get two points. I get two points for this one here. One, two. Next, you get three points for each row which is completely empty. So me and Fraser both get three points. Nice. I missed that one. Okay. When I took income, I could have paid 10 to move a thing in, but I forgot and yeah. didn't want to. Because I don't have money. Right, that's it. So how far through are we now? Half? Well, no, that... Oh, yes. This is That was an end of round three. Wasn't it? Or we four? I've got confused. Did Did we do something wrong? Did we not take... Did you just not move this? No, this is round four, so it's here, right? No, yeah, that, this is fine. No, that hasn't moved Who went yet. first? You went, went first. first. That was round four. That was round four. Wow, it's well, yeah. so going quick, isn't it? So yes. we've only got two rounds left. We're on round five. Yeah. Oh, I don't want it to end. Good game. Oh, right. you'd have lost two reputation this round. If you didn't pay, you didn't pay your tax. Okay, so it's over to you then at the start player. Okay, so I think... We've so two rounds left. Oh, what are these, by the way? I've just noticed um, them lying I, around. I, I didn't find in the rule book where it mentions them, but I'm going to assume when your production value goes to oh, more than 10, on 10 and then, you use it. Yeah. If that's right, I didn't get to that point in the rules. <laughs> uh, right, so I'm going to be building... Oh, that's a perfect place. So can I afford it? I hope so. Let's find out. Um, if I'm building... If I'm getting a plot there... It's going to cost you 10. There we are. 10. 
Um, needs money. Right? I am, and I'm going to run out in a minute. Um, I've, got, I've got nothing. I've got one coin left. <laughs> and then I'm going to do a building. Or oh, maybe I hang on. Maybe I need to think about getting some income after all. So I'm about to do this right, and then I'm not going to have much left. Mm -hmm. um, but oh, that's a plot left. Okay, right. I'm doing a building there. Wood is one. So that's going to cost you twelve. Oh, wait, what am I there? doing though? I don't know. And it doesn't make sense, does it? No. Because it's not my building. It's not your building. Right, hang on, give me a mo. <laughs> yeah, but you'll get free reputation to points. Oh, yeah, you'll get all of the stuff on it. Yeah, but I've been thinking about all this lining up business, but it doesn't actually matter if it's not my building. No. So, uh, hang on then. Hang on then. <sighs> yeah, well, point it out, Snack Craft. Right. Um,. I I did end up two point two percent ahead when I was in the last. Oh, you got you got oh, you got ahead of me now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a good point. Cool. That brick building, you that plot there, you probably want one of your buildings in there because it's next to. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Um. This was a lot of points for you guys. Mm. Well, three. Oh, three. Yeah, but it could be six. Could, could be yeah. starting to get more. This one? Yeah. You've got these left, yeah. haven't we? So I'm guessing there's going to be some building going on. That one doesn't really work either. Mm. Yeah, this one, Paul. Reputation goes up based on I'm going to be bouncing off the end. Which if you do, you gain two points for each okay. space that you would bounce. And the next one looks like... Uh, so building. what is it? Tile number no, wait, seven. No, that's 20, not 40. Yeah. I mean, for each of your buildings gain one reputation for each public building next to it. Yeah. And this one, I guess, is a free build action. Gain a point and, yeah, perform the building action without paying for it. Right, yeah, so I'm without picking paying my building without right. paying for it. And then the last one is perform two minor. Oh, hang on. And I played yeah. a rights card when I meant to play a plot card anyway, didn't I? That's plot. I was thinking of the rights to the plot. Yeah. Right. Okay, so the plot was that. Plot was that. And you paid the ten. And uh but I think I will now get rights to another tavern probably. Um uh, I should probably work out where I'm gonna put it though, shouldn't I? Um so that one is that and that. There's not actually an ideal place for that, is there? There's not anywhere that's got a yellow triangle and a orange star adjacent no but where you, where it is there you'll get you'll get the adjacency bonus even if you don't have the symbols matching up true true and it has got an orange on it so you will get the three oranges true Okay, you've convinced me now. <laughs> uh, there Those we go. Two percent points are going to split around now. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's two. Um, oh yeah, we're buying even that one. So that costs you five money. Uh, I need some change. That. So my bakery is a bit cheaper. You right? Only two Paul. Sorry about the faff. You're used to it, by oh, now. Oh gosh. Um, right. Well, I had a sort of idea. <laughs> sort of. Yeah, sort of. I've only got 16 money, but I don't feel that I want to take income just yet. So I think what I need to do is... Do I want that? This one, Paul. Do you need to already have the plot? Yeah. And you need to already have the right? Yeah. So it's literally it's, just it's a performing building the action. building action. Yeah. So what would that get me? Uh, two how reputation. many points did you get before? before that? Two. Yeah. It would get me two reputation. Yeah. Which 
we'll get you the joke thing. No. Oh, no. No, not quite. So I'm going to hang fire on that. I think I'm going to plot. So it cost me one money. Yeah. Because I know a guy. Uh, now it's next to... Oh, yeah. Wow. Ooh. Three circles. Yeah, I'm just having a look at... What's here? So that's that. What can I build? Yeah, okay. So none of them are particularly great. But I'll go here. Okay. Because it's one. So that's that. Yeah. Then I will... Oh, you've only got one St. Barbara card. Interesting. I will then write. Okay, so. There's a lot more public buildings now than there was. Mm -hmm. There's some really good ones as well. With these where it flips it itself, do you still do the actions on it? No, no, no. So it's, okay. it's just the tax. Just the tax. Let me change my mind on that. That's all right. Put it there. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to spend five for a permit to take that. Now, if the stack's empty, do you still slide down? You'd think so, because it then puts an empty one here, right? I, I think you do. It doesn't affect me yet, so we'll see what people say. I'm going to do the plot. Uh, I'm going to pay one for my plot, and it's my last one. Uh, and I'm going to take that one there, and then I'm going to take income. It should be 5 times 5 is 25, plus 7, 32, plus 4 times 3 is 12, 32 plus 12, 44. 44. That's your income, is it? That's my income. Did you want to spend 10 of that? Oh, yeah. Did? Uh, yeah, let's move the green card. Well, surely someone else has got do double that. grey. What you haven't got double grey, double grey. No, so that's no, not good no. for you. That I will have for double grey in a minute, and that's not. Oh, good you don't activate it now, do you? When you move no, it. you you just move it there. Why would I do it when someone else might do it? Because it's worth more to you than it is to other people. But if it's not, then if it's not, you wouldn't. It's worth the same. I mean. Moving that to there is yeah. worth three points to you, two to me. Is it worth three points to him? Yeah. One. Two, oh, sorry, I'm looking three, at the wrong one. Possibly another one when you build that. One. Yeah. So you are getting slightly more out of that than. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's worth ten coins though. The others. Mm -hmm. Ten coins for at least two points, possibly three or four. And I can't put anyone in there. No. Because we haven't got a man there. There. Um, okay. gonna take Peter's confirmed we do do that even though the stack's empty. Okay. Thank you. Round. Seems like a lot of ten to give everyone else some points as well. Mm -hmm. And you're building more, you've got one as well. So we're all going to be doing it. Tasty points. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. Okay. Yeah. Done. Okay. Fraser, turn two. On okay. round five. Right. So, well, I'm going to start by building my tavern. Uh, price of wood is one. Price of wood is one. So, so that goes here. Five. Yeah. Okay. So, your, your beer production goes piece. up by two. Yeah, up by two. This goes up by one. Yep. The population goes up to 17. Yep. And that um, flips over and yep. taxes go up by two. And that goes there. And you pop a little house on it. It's a And you can take a 
but you gain oh. a point. Oh, I gain a point. And you take one of the public buildings. Ooh, of my choice. Yeah, for free. Hmm. Right. What's good for where my folks are? I guess. Um. Probably something like that. Let's go with... And yeah, that is per completed column. Yeah. That. And... It's tricky. That's who did it in the end. No, you're late, isn't that? That building did it. Star, you to star. Let's go with that one. Okay. Well, I was going to build, <laughs> but... Oh, hang on, I haven't done a second thing there, oh, okay. have I? Sorry. Um, oh, now I've got one where I've got plot and building on the same flipping card. Um... <laughs> Sorry, I'll be right with you. I've got to do plot, so I'm doing plot. Um, and that's going to go there. For four. Four. Four money. Oh, bargain. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to send Barbara. I'm going to use a pelican. Nice. I'm going to flip that over. Mm -hmm. So I get one point. Construct a building for free. I will build the school for free. Right. So that gets me two more pelicans. Pelicantastic. Uh, I remove a house from my board. I will remove that house. Population goes up by two. Why did you remove the house? Ah, oh, okay. And taxes go up by two. It's over. Right, population is now 19. Wood has gone up to two again. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> That's all my money gone again, isn't it? My first <laughs> thing. And my second thing that I'm going to do is... Okay. Hmm. New, new plan. I, I think that. I'm going to plot... Spending one money. Now then. What am I going to say next? I think I'm going to put that plot there. Right, done. So this action here is, is to... Double mine. But you don't pay the Get wood. a free miner and you don't pay the wood. You get one free miner, you don't pay the wood, but you need two miners. So you still got to pay the five for the permit. Yes. Oh, no, because the miner comes from here. Say that again. The miner comes from this bit. But you're double mining. Yeah, so you take two from there. Oh, you're taking two. They, they two come two from, from this section here, and not they... here. I like how... So I like how shiny the 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 silver is on. They've, they've on done these. a good. Yeah. They, they're like, like illuminated, which yeah. I guess is what they're after. So yeah. Paul, I'm being dim. <laughs> if I did that, I would move two of them there for free. No. You take a mine, you put it on the board, and you take that miner and you put it on the thing. Twice. Twice. Exactly the same again. Yeah. Okay. Got you. It's amazing, and I should have done that rather than that. It, yeah. Okay. So yeah. Barbara. So you flip your pelican. Yeah. So oh, draw draw three. Phase. Okay. I've still got to pay for the wood though, right? Yep. Okay. Right. Completely free. Um Okay. So I'll go there. Yep. Yeah. Put a pop miner on it. Yep. Yeah. That's the first no, one done. Nothing happens. Those, those get discarded. Then yeah. you do it again, you get another three. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. It's three stars. That means you've got the majority in that row now as well. Mm. Shocking. Mm. Yeah. So 
Phantom of me tapping on the table. I think it's picking up on the mic. So, and the three, and, the three. and all production goes up to 15. So, three. Okay, so there isn't a 15. Ah. So when you get to that, you flip it over, and there's 15. Flip it over. And we keep going. This now, the taxes go up by one. Nope, because you did oh, it. I did if it. a player does it, it doesn't increase the taxes. Okay. So I now want this to happen. And I also want this to happen. Yeah. That's but it's right, not currently it? happening because you haven't put, put anybody up there. In. Got yeah. Um told you a lot we're underestimating down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to play my Joker for free. Yep. As a plot. Okay. Pay one. I'm putting that. Just realised I've been looking at the screen over there at, as that's where they are. But they're over there, look. <laughs> they're, they're over there, they're over there, they're everywhere. <laughs> right. Okay. So, final Whoa, card play for the penultimate round. Whoa. Um, Crikey. I need to get stuff built, don't I? Yeah. Um, I was just thinking exactly um, the thing. That might be... Ah, oh, man. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I like this double. Mm. Double. Double layer. Yeah. yeah, it's really cool. Sort of thing they needed for uh, terraforming Mills, isn't it? It is. <laughs> um, uh, right. This is where I might want a. Uh... Oh, we needed to add a red patrician to the pool when you built your Thank you. Building. I did forget that. So, options. I really should have put that in, shouldn't I? But... I could play this guy over here for a huge chunk of money. What is net? Yeah, it's twenty money. Um, uh, and I would need a to spend a joker to do that, and b I'd need some income straight after. Right. B I could just play the joker and get some income straight away. Good. Um, and that might. Oh, that would. Hmm. Or, <laughs> uh, and actually, would I be better off moving this guy up or this guy up is a separate question. I suspect this guy, especially because Dan doesn't have it. This. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I'm last, look. I could, <laughs> I could try and uh, I could do some mining to try and increase the population and thereby uh, reduce the price of wood again. But I'm presuming that it goes to red too. No, it before... would go. It would go up. The more people arrive, these numbers go up. The only way to reduce the price of it is me build me or somebody Paul building yeah. another. Oh yes, wood okay, farm. right, yes, you're and, right, and that moving to the right. Yes, gotcha. Okay, so that's probably not going to happen, so I should just bite the bullet and build something, shouldn't I? Uh, uh, no, hang on, but it's not used... Hang on. The next wood place is there. That's Which would increase that by one for me this turn, whereas if I were to take income now, it would increase this by three, three. for me this turn. So and, I'll take and it me. And you. This turn? turn. This round. You get your points each round, don't you? Yes. And I think... I think that's what I want to do. Okay. So you're... So I'm going playing to... Playing the Joker. Playing the Joker. Lose a reputation. Lose a reputation. To take income. To take income. So how much beer are you producing? I'm producing five beer. 30. Okay. Uh, two or... Plus one at the bottom. Three or... At uh, three. So that's 39. And seven silver. Seven falls of 28. 28 plus 39. 67. Sounds good. Wow. I'll have that, please. 
Very cool. And I get to put this fella here too. At a cost of 10. Yeah. There we go. Right. All done? Yep. My final card? Yep. Yeah. I wish I remembered what I was doing. <laughs> I was also thinking of income. What's that next one? Choose one of your buildings and score one point for each matching dot on an adjacent building or the edge of the board. So I could choose that one and score three points. So that is three points. Three points. But then you get three points by putting another person in there, which you do in your income. Yeah, but so with raise. Yeah. I'm worried about him. Lead. <laughs> I'm bottom nut. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it would flip another pelican over, but nothing's in there yet, so. Oh, it's tricky, isn't it? It really is tricky. Okay, so. My income is just so rubbish. Yeah, go on. I'll income. He's income. So 15. Yeah. 25. Yeah. 40. Easy enough. So I will take 30. And I will move that into there. No. 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 Currently, that's blocking me out. If you put this in there, that's benefiting me and you. If you put that in there, it's benefiting who knows. Uh, uh, I'm gonna probably. Put... I don't know how well everybody. The two uh, two of us equally I'm on, on red and green, and the you two equally on yellow. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in, in yellow. <laughs> All right. Well, it's a good thing we didn't put it in. The other one because i'm going to get my column now <laughs> right okay um so i'm going to just cost me eight to build this hammer works which is going in okay. there oh i've caused disruption so your silver production goes up by three at last and this three. goes up so no and more silver no buildings more. can be built this goes on it that goes on it I see. Hmm. Good job I didn't buy it then. Give me a pelican <laughs> token, please, Paul. Pelican. And I've completed a column. Okay. Hurrah. Great. Right, we're done. End of the round? End of the round. So, everybody has to pay 11 money. Yeah. Or lose two reputation. Good job I didn't spend all my money on a building then, didn't I? Thank you. Double counting. So we've all paid. Yeah. It is voluntary. Even if you have the money, you yeah. may choose not to pay. And okay. take the reputation. And take the reputation. Okay. Right. Building. That's a good point, actually, because I'm in the so bracket. But yeah. Are there victory points for money? One uh, ten. Okay. Thank you. Well, it's, it's income. Oh, income. income. Do you then add that to your money? I, I guess you mm. must do. Anyway, this one here, two points. This one here, one point. This one here, one point. So four points. Okay. So Dan, you get four. Fraser, you get one, two, three, four. Okay. Paul, you get one, two, three. So we're all getting roughly the same for this. Yeah. yeah. Right. This one, me and Dan get two. Yeah. And this one, we all get six. <laughs> <laughs> Four, five, six. There you go. Right, round six. Final round. Ooh. Can't you're, come back. You're going first in the final round. I went first at the start. Yep. Yep. Makes sense. Right. Okay, so where are we getting our points from then? <laughs> That's the question. What we get? What are we gonna do? I have so many. Well, I've got to do that. That absolutely has to, has to go 
which that yeah same here <laughs> so what was this again oh you match at the dots there is that yeah that if i took that that's effectively three points because i choose this building and it's next to three dots hmm. or i could choose that building and get three points yeah so four points for me uh hang on this one's next to four dots oh yeah so i'd get four points yeah and if you build something strategic here, it, yeah, it doesn't exactly. include its own yeah. dot. It doesn't include its own dot. Oh. I assume it doesn't include its own dot. But it doesn't it just counts how many times you've done it, right? Each matching dot dots. on an adjacent building or the side of the board. Yeah. Okay. So. I have a plot. The building I want is not the right building. <laughs> so, and I can afford it, so therefore I should do it, <laughs> but it makes the wood then cheaper for everybody else, but, ah, do it as your last move, well, <laughs> is somebody going to sneak in and do it before me, mm, good point, do what, build the, a wood the, building, the thing, the thing, with the thing with the thing. The thing that I can't do, but you can do, Dan. <laughs> but I deeper. also want to get a silver patrician in here and in here. Although we've all got two of these, so actually that's not going to benefit anybody. Um... <laughs> Is Dan going to do that? No, he's not. Do what? That. <laughs> <laughs> You're not. You're totally not going to do that. Man, what am I doing? But this, these... Oh, the price of wood being two really throws a spanner in the works. It really does. So, knowing that you're probably going to do that, which is probably going to do that, which is probably going to do that. Well, that's effectively four points to me. That's five points to me. If somebody else does that, the other side is two reputation, which is three points to me. So it's all roughly the same number of points up there. I definitely want to build another building on the board. It's just... i tell you what. Screw it. I'm going to do it. So what am I doing? I am playing rights to take this, which is a permit. Yeah. Permits are five. Yeah. Even though you make them. Even though I make them. I could take them for free. Right. Yeah. And then I am going to build it using that card. Okay. So it's five wood. Wood is currently two, so it costs me ten. And it's going there. Nice. Okay. So what that does is my wood production goes up by seven. So at this point, I am producing 12, which is what I think that does. This goes up, so I assume it's going to drop down to one. Yes, it does. Uh, population goes up by one. Population is 20. Oh, we flip it over. So is it stuck on these now? No. Uh, that goes there, and I get a pelican and one point. Okay. What's the question mark about there? The number of points is based on the oh, right. yeah. that you pick. Yeah. Okay. Right, done. Oof. Okay, so that's five points. That was like three or four for you. That's four for me. Yeah. Because of that. I could choose that building and it's worth four. So, I mean, if I build that, basically, you're going to build that, which gets you a point. Yeah. Okay. And the wood's cheap at the moment. Wood has gone down so... to one because I'm, I'm now producing 12 wood. So there's a more wood than we know what to do with. I may have. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I need to do that. Need to but do this that. is nice. This is now 12 points for me. But you're you're gonna do so. Dan might not be able to. Do what? Unlock no. those two. 
I think so. Which is a lot of points. And that would help me out. Okay, it's also good. All right. Um, we did produce a lot of wood in this game. Yeah, but wood has been basically one for most of the game. Yeah. Occasionally it goes to two. And as soon as it goes to two, I build a wooden building. <laughs> yeah. Because I needed to unlock that. If it weren't for that, I probably wouldn't have done it. I'd have left the wood at two. Because that's better for me. Whereas your scribes have been sitting around doing bugger all. Yeah, they've done a bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you can't build another one of these. Can't build a silver building. No. Can't build a wooden building. Right. So I have to pay. I'm paying. Uh, I've got to choose an action. What are you going to do? Right. Right. Paying what one. do you want? I'm going to take this bakery. Yep. Slidey slide. Then, whilst it's cheap, I. Going to build it? I'm going to build it. Okay. So that's going to cost you six. six. And you've only got a plot here. So yeah. it goes there. And it goes there. Right. So your food production goes up by four. Two, three, four. This goes up. Have you, is this the first one we've built? Second. So we've forgot to. Oh no. Has it moved one? Yeah, it, it was there. Yeah. That's a different icon that we've not seen before. Yeah. Anyway, it was there. It's now there. Yeah. I don't even know what that icon means. No. I've seen it in the rulebook, but I've not read it. There's, there's one there. Oh. I'll, I'll look it up just because I'm curious now. I think it might mean you have to build one. This icon indicates demand is so great that the town takes the action without waiting for the players. All right. <laughs> Immediately move the indicator arm one notch to the right. Find the corresponding stack on the town hall board. Discard the top tile of the stack. Move the stack to the end. Slide down. Right. Okay. So the town okay. gets fed up with waiting. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, you so you've that, built the building. You've done that. We've moved that. Population goes up by two. Population is now twenty-two. How much is the word? Still one. And Dan builds that. So taxes go up by one. That flips over, and Dan, you put that building on there, and you get to take a public building at no cost and get one point. Which is that. Which building? Which building do you want? Is it just these three? Yeah. Um... Got two points on it. Don't really want that. It's not good. Mm. Mm. This one, I think. Okay. The mint. Right. Fraser, you got your whole round planned? More or less. Um, so uh, I'm going to start with some rights, um, and I'd like a pump, please. Cost you ten money. Cost me ten money. That's all right, I think. Uh, and I'd also like a plot. Another plot. Well, you've got three buildings now. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Um, hang on. Let's use that plot. Okay, which plot would you like? I would like this plot. Which costs four. Which costs four. Ah, uh, that needs some change. There you go. Cute. Right then. Nice and easy. Back to me. No idea. No idea. Yeah. I think St. Barbara. Flip that over. Yeah. Flip that over. Get five points. Now anyone can go there for two points. Or two reputation. Yeah. Which is points. So. I have two actions left in the entire oh, game. It's points, yeah. Mm. So I don't have any plots on the board. 
and I don't have any buildings here. Get mining. So therefore, if I was to use an action to place a plot and take a thing, I then can't build it. So there is very little else for me to do. Did we say that income at the end is added to your money? It does income one point for every 10 gosh it says calculate your income according to the final state divide that number by 10 and score that many points so you you don't gain the money you work out what your income is and gain one point for every 10 money what about money that you've just got in your hand money at the end of the game i don't think is worth anything it is a tie break okay okay Okay. Interesting. That's annoying because I'm going to take. You can use pelican in, for two reputation. Apparently. This. What? This. Oh yeah, the Saint Barbara action. Oh, as in a Saint Barbara action. As the yeah, Saint Barbara it. action, you can flip a thing to get okay. two reputation. But yeah. if I haven't got a Saint Barbara action, then I can't do it. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. And I have a Saint Barbara action, but only with the Joker. So I'd, I'd yeah. go down here to go up there. Mm, it, it, one. It, it's two points. Yeah. I'm sure I can do better than two points. Although. What's putting a mine on the board going to get me? <clears throat> mm. Well, it might get me the most stars in here. Yeah. Because at the moment... Oh, actually, no, we're tied. Zero stars, zero stars. So right now, me and Dan are both getting two points for this top row. Mm. Here, nobody else can build in here because we can't unlock there. Yeah. Here, I've got two stars, Dan's got three. Yeah. So if I put some more stars there, I will take this row and potentially increase the value of the row. Here, I'm sorted. Here, I'm doing all right. So I think you're right. I think we go mining. So I'm going to have to spend five money, two more miners, and let's look at three tiles. Okay, so what am I looking at? Stars. So at the moment, I've got two stars and Dan's got three. If I put two stars in, that gives me the most stars in this row. Don't forget where it's from. With the zero stars. Yeah, but that just takes two points off down. It doesn't give points to me. Oh, okay. Whereas this gives more points to me. Gotcha. Yeah. So that's going to go there. That costs four wood. That pile is empty. So we now completely reshuffle that. So four wood is four money. Completely reshuffle. Mm. That goes on there. So my ore income goes up by two, and that goes up by two. Question in the chat, why does it say zero to five? Because there, there is no stars in this top row. So yeah, zero to five stars, because there is no stars in the top row. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's why it says zero. Are you done? I'm done. I've got one action left in the yeah. entire game. And that's changed things. I, I suspect we've not done this as much as we potentially could have done. Yeah. Apparently you have I to read what Petter said. What did I... What was it he said? I, I, point, at which point? In first row, no one gets anything at the moment. Oh, right. Yeah, didn't he say you have to have at least one star? Sorry. We, we don't get anything because we're not on any stars. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Quick check your numbers then. So I was getting two points before and Dan was getting three. Now I'm getting three and he's getting two. It's fine. But yeah. if you'd have gone up there with two stars... Then, then I'd have got two and Dan would have got one. So it's slightly better for me to do it that way. Okay. Plot. Thank you. Right. So yeah, the row is worth two points, but nobody has any stars. Gotcha. Thank you. Gotcha. Got there eventually. <laughs> but yeah, I see what you're saying now. That might as well say one mm. because if there are no stars in the row, nobody can get any points for it. Mm. So yeah, income. okay, might be clearer, I suppose. Yeah, I'm doing my income. Uh, nine times four. So what you're producing? Nine food. Yeah, and it's worth four. Yeah, thirty six. Three silver is nine. Forty five. Seven, seven. So that's fifty-two. Seven times four. Twenty-eight. That's eighty. Yeah, but it's pointless because it's not worth anything at the end. Well, I am assuming you're going to spend ten. 
Yeah. Oh, to move, move, to move that. that to there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this one. Because that's slightly yeah. better for you than yeah. other people. Taking income on the last round of things probably quite weak. Did Paul pay two money for placing the mine or did he pay four? He paid four. I paid four because of that. it was four. Yeah. I think I paid four. Yeah, you did. I, I put a five in and took one change. Yeah. I'm done. You're done. Right. Building. High Church of the Virgin Mary, which I've had for the whole game because <laughs> I bought, bought I got it to get something cheaper. Um it's going to go there. Okay, so you've paid twelve. Uh, I'm about to pay twelve. Uh that building. There you are. Well, twelve money has been paid. You gain two points. Two points. Your reputation goes up by three. One, two, three. The population goes up to twenty-four. Yep. Still one, that's all right. And taxes go up by three. Taxes go up by three. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. Okay. And I'm building another building, which is a mine, a pump rather. That's going to go there. So that costs you three money. Cost me three money. Oh. Thank you. Uh, you get that? I get that. It's a star. It's a star. I know where that's going to go. Top row. Top row. There you go. Suddenly two points. Yeah. Now, where's a sensible place for me to put it? It's going to cost you four or that's three. That's going to come yeah. in. Or three. Are. Yeah. Um, there we are then. It cost you three money for that? Uh, it's cost me... Oh, I thought that one's... I'm getting confused. Which is the when? where you get it for free? Uh, oh, what was that? That was, oh, that, that that was yeah. no, one. it's free. It's yes. free and it comes with a free miner. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's that. Right. Your ore production goes up by three. Uh, on the ore on yeah. That on that track. Well, and then three easy. more this. It goes up to twenty. Yeah. Oof. Okay. Those are my two moves. And you want a house on here. On a house on there. Which is that one, which gets you a pelican and a point. Pelican and a point. Right, so my final action of the game. Now, so technology, so income is only worth something if I can't afford to pay my taxes and don't want to lose the three reputation. But that three reputation will lose me one point. That's all it will do. So, meh. Is, is income going to get me any points? It's not going to get me any points, is it? No. I didn't want to do it, but I had to do it. Otherwise, I couldn't have built anything. So what I could do is I could spend one reputation to play the Joker, to flip over one of these, to gain two reputation. Yeah. And that, no, but then I'd lose it again. <laughs> because that's not it. Ah! No. You so I, income. Well, I could take income and put that there, which benefits us two. Yeah. Or I could put that there, that benefits us all exactly the same. Yeah. The question is, is Fraser ahead of me? Or I could build a mine. <laughs> yeah. I'll build a mine. Which, at the moment, is more income. Yeah, I'll build a mine. So I get three tiles. And then. Oh, he's going to try yeah. to the top row. I can sneak on the top row, can't I? Okay. <laughs> because there's a two-star one here. Mm. So, yeah, I'll go here. I'll go here. Cost three. That leaves me with one money. Uh, and I use that one. And it goes on there. Da, 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 da. And that gets my ore income up by one and one more of those. Uh, like that. And that is it. I've got one more go. That's a lie. Uh, I'm building and I'm building the mint. It's better to slide cards one after the other, although as you can miss important marks, like when the city builds his... Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. So if if, if things increase by oh, yeah. more than one, do you have to move one, see something? Mm. Okay, right. Okay. Didn't realise that. Thank you. Um, So I get a pelican token, please. It matters. Pine and pine and pelican and... Um, Two point two reputation. Oh, that reminds me: is is it singular grocer, plural groschen, or is it 
Or is it Groshan and Groshan? Yellow, yellow patrician. Yeah. In there. Because you, what have you done? Oh yeah, you've done that. Yeah. Two population, one tax. So we're doing the population one at a time. So nothing happens. Nothing happens. Right. Okay. And tax went up by one. Yeah. Flippy to flip. Okay. Oh, did Did you put that? Yeah. Yeah. Put okay. That up as well. I thought that was where I put it as well. Okay. Done. Done. So options. I do a St. Barbara. Mm -hmm. Which is two reputation. Which is four points. Nice. Really? Well, you can only gain two. Oh, you mean it'll go up to six? Yeah. Okay, so it's a four point increase. Yes. Or I do a mine so that I've got a column of. Which is worth two points. Yeah. Which is less. But, and which is less. But you might point. potentially sneak the stop the top row, which you're currently getting one point for having the second most stars. Yeah. So you might gain a point for that, which is three points instead of four, but it takes one of me. Yeah. So you can have four points, or you yeah. can have three and take one of me. <laughs> I want four points. Um, and I, I, ah, I generally... No, 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 hang on. I generally prefer to play my own game rather than others at the same time. Every Pelican token you did not use is worth a point. Ooh. No, so it's equal either it, way. No, no, this way it means it's better for it's me better to... to yeah. Unless I think Dan's about to race past me. Well, it's four points either way, but you also take one of me. Okay, then. So basically, that's better. Right? Let's go keep, mining. Keep the pelican token, yeah. Let's go mining. Have you got a... Ah, you don't have a thing. You'd have to buy a permit. Yeah, You'd but to... money's not yeah. really money... worth anything. You have to spend six money. Money is not my problem. To unlock two miners. Two miners? You get two miners. Oh, that's just standard thing. Yeah. Okay. So, thank you. Have some tiles. Uh, how many? Six. Six money. Okay. Uh, that's the only cost, though, right? Yeah. For the oh, and, and, and the and, wood, whatever the wood's going to be. Yeah, okay. So, as long as you've got the money for the... Options. The end, Two of my options. Uh, so you just want, should I put it somewhere? A star, a star at the top won't... One star at the top will not take a point from me. We'll see. Well, there's only one with one star. But we'll give you a point. Yes. Okay. I mean, that that's a, a fixed point. Yeah. That's three points. Well, that's three points. points. That's the best one. Easy. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Nice. And population goes up by one. Uh, so, and I want to put that in the bottom row so I get that sort of points as well. Oh, yeah. Um, Four, five, five. Easy. Although, uh, yeah, it's tie break, isn't it? Yeah. So. Um, three points. Three monies. Uh, four. Four monies. Uh, no. Ah, go. actually. Actually. I, I did that too early. Did you? I did that, yeah. I'm going I do that shop. first. Do that first. You pay the cost, which is four. Okay. Then on. the population increases. So that's sixteen back. Getting ahead of myself. Cute. Right. Yours um, as well, I think. Oh, thank you. Where did that come from? <laughs> did I? Okay. Um uh, that means did your three points money was the population. Not as Optimal as I thought. I think we're done. Um, you'd put the population up. Yep. I have my. Have I gone? Up? I've not gone up three points yet. Okay. One, two, three. Um, and then we're going to do all the rest of it yeah. in the moment. So, I'm not paying my taxes. I lose three reputation. Oh yes, I need to do that, don't I? How much is it? Sixteen. Sixteen. There you go. I've got the change. Kill. I would have anyway if I'd have not found that line around. Goring. So Dan. Is it easier to pick the gold tiles than do the things around it? Uh no, because each building right. will score. So a gold tile could be next to so this one yeah. is two points. That one is four points. That one is four points. That one is two. Wow. So you get twelve points. Okay. Okay, so we move up twelve. Twelve points for that. Thirty-one. Razor, this one is worth two. This one? Nope, not worth anything. Yeah. Nothing, nothing. That's two, so that's four. That one's worth four, so you get eight. And I get two. Oh, it's not the number of buildings eight. next to it. It's the building itself. See no, it's mean. the number of public buildings next to it. Well, that that's worth six. Sorry, another two. I forgot. For who? Three. Me. Yeah. Yeah, good point. Is that That's right? worth, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, two points. Yeah, it's worth six. Right, okay, got it. Blue got ten points, not eight. Yep, fixed it. Yeah, cool. Next, this one. Yeah. Have we all got that now? Uh, yeah. Yeah. We've all got it, so we all get two points. But have you got double it? No, because I needed to get across and in here. I've only got one. Uh, on this row. Gang's got two on this row. Yeah, but he's not got but two anywhere else. So we all okay. get two points. And this one, me and you get six, Dan gets three. Okay. Right. What did the poll, poll say before we... Yeah, what did the poll say? 57% still yeah. saying I'm going to win? Right. And it's meant to be very close between, with me just, just ahead of Dan. Let's so now we're near end go. of game scoring. Right. First of all, buildings. So we're looking at dots. Yeah. So I think if we go through them one at a time, we'll do this one first. Okay. okay. So this one is worth one, two, three, four. Don't so green, get, green gets four points. Correct. This one gets one, two, three. Yeah. This one is two. Yeah. This one is one, two, three, four. This one is worth four. This one is worth three. Okay, this one is only worth one. Uh, this one is worth one, two. This one is worth one, two, three. Right. Right, this one, just the one. Oh, yeah. This one, one, two, three, four. That one's worth four. This one is worth one, two, three, four. Right, and then the final row, this one is worth one. <laughs> this one is worth one, two, three, four. This one is worth one, two, three, four, four. Nice. That's a decisive amount of points. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay, so that's the build. It hasn't changed your order yet. <laughs> we now do the mines. Yeah. So okay. this top row. This might be more decisive. Has got three stars. I think the poll's spot on so far. <laughs> and I've got the most stars in I that know, row. Paul's, pu Paul's purple. Yeah, I'm purple. Oh, oh, right, yeah. So Fred's got one. Right, this row has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stars. One at the end there. Eight stars. Uh, green has four of those stars. It gets three points. And then purple and blue have got one star, so we get two points each. This row has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I've got four of them, so I get three points. Dan's got the next most, gets two. Fraser does have one. Yeah. Which is one. And the bottom row is worth six stars. I've got five of them, so I get one, two, three. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing for anybody else. Right, that's that done. Income. So, Dan, your income at the end of the game, what have you got? Nine times five. Forty-five. Three times... Four. Fifty-seven. Seven times one. Nope, two. Two. So fifty-seven. Plus fourteen. Fifty-seven. Sixty-one. Seventy-one. Seven times three is twenty-one. So that's ninety-two. So it's nine points. All right, Fraser. Um, so five sevens, thirty-five, plus... Uh, Five threes are 15, 50. 50. Um, four, seven fours are 28, so 78, 78 plus another three, 81. 81. Eight points. Uh, me, right, I got three permits at six, that's 18. 12 wood is 24, plus that 42. 
and 8 or at 3 is 24. 66? Yeah, yeah, I think both of you are due some more points from the red, according to the chat. Really? Yeah. Did um, I say six each? Yeah. It should have been 12. Yeah. Okay. But how many did we give you for that? Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure we gave anyone anything to him. No, I don't no, think we did. I do have a column. Yeah, so... so so. No, I think I did. Yeah. yeah. I can't remember what we did, but thank you for spotting it. Yeah, I think, I think we did six each and nothing for Dan, and we should have done 12 each and uh, six for Dan. So it's actually the same anyway, but it, it's the same. But <laughs> yes, considering they said a score of it seventy was we good. We gave yeah. six, six, and three. Oh well, so I need three off that. I'm. I don't remember us giving him three. Six, but... six, and three sounds okay. right. Yeah, right. Okay. Thank you, thank you for that. So we've done income. Right now we do reputation. I got nothing. Twelve, uh, thirteen. Thirteen. Oh, I didn't actually move this up in the end, did I? Because it was up another two. How did you get it? Oh no, hang on, no, I didn't because that was the whole you not didn't. doing it or not doing it. Two points. Two points. And then pelicans. Is that is that is that leftover what? stuff at the end? It's extras. One point for each building in a slot on your board. One point for each claimed plot that you did not use. And one point for each pelican token that you did not use. Oh, yeah. oh damn. That's it. <laughs> Uh, no. Have we got exactly reverse order? No, oh, we, have. no we haven't. Dan, Dan is. I was. I got. I squeaked ahead of you on the poll. So apparently, I said one point for the top right corner, and it should be two. What was that? What was this that? One? that one. So I'm owed a point, am I? I did say one point. Yeah, and you it did. Should be two. Okay. Uh, yes. Yes. Oh, if I'd have got that. Five, so thank you very much, chat. Uh, <laughs> <help me out. laughs> so Fraser wins with a Woo! score of eighty-six. Second place is Dan with 81, and then I'm in third with 79. Considering Petter said 70 is a good score for your first game, I think we all played brilliantly. <laughs> I'll, I'm, I'm not going to argue. <laughs> that was great fun. I thought I was going to catch up more at the end with something, <laughs> and, and I did yes. a bit. But I thought not, Dan was going to catch up more enough. at the end. We well, did. I guess so, yeah. 13 points for that reputation at the end. Mm. Huge. It was that. It was having to take income in the last right. round, absolutely mm. making me up. Right. Look how much money's left. And money is not worth it's anything worth at the it. end. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. Monica called it, Cause, said Fraser. That's what I was going <laughs> to say. Stephen also won the poll. Thank you, Stephen. Peter said that's a lot of points. I, I hope we played correctly. I was, two, <laughs> I was two coins short of five points, yeah. which would have put me joint. Mm. I, I don't feel any of us played if it, I mean it was our first game. Mm. Yeah. But I felt that it was very much an exploratory game where yeah. I was just doing stuff and, and sort of learning bits as I went about what buildings I could mm. place where. I think once you've played this game a few times, you can probably manipulate this mm. quite a bit better. You can say, right, I'm really gonna go for this and yeah. I'm really gonna build the public buildings that put the yellow ones mm. in. And then I'm going to spend the money to move. I, I, now, I this make, I, now this makes. I was sense. also thinking yeah. the order of these, which we pretty much just put as was we on the card. We put them as recommended because for your first yeah. game, you've no idea. Yeah. But I would. Yeah, it really, it's a really interesting. Fantastic. I, 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 I'm not sure what order I would put these in. Yeah. Well, if if, if you I were going to play again now, if you were going for the columns, mm -hmm. then it probably doesn't matter. But right. but the but it probably but if you're going to go. But it all hinges on your yeah. unique one. Well, that's only in a three-play game. In a four-play uh, game, there'll be more, yeah. more sharing. Because the unique one, there's never a rush Nobody to build, else can build it. it. Yeah. yeah. So you can build all four. Yeah. So you put that and in it's... the one that you least want to get. Mm. I never got this middle column for ages because I couldn't build the silver mine. Because I kept building more. Because you kept building. Yeah. Yes, so and, and certainly the yeah the the one you want to get out first, yeah, be it pelicans or well, I think reputation yeah. is key because the difference of buying plot mm. is massive. That's yeah, huge. I I, yeah. I I agree. But, well, if some but of the plots were eight. Who, who won the game? Yeah. Oh, well, I I and think you were paying eight ten for plots. Well, I think what won me the game, wherever it's gone. 
Yeah, timing of this is a big this deal. This thing, that will be the game. Minus two reputation, which costs you almost nothing. Plus all the money. Double income. Yeah. And you got 78 at that point. Because yeah. it saved you two actions. What lost me yeah. the game is taking the stars early. Right. I, I took that as stars, mm. and I should have taken production. So yeah. my incomes were always lower than yours by 20. Yeah. And that... But you weren't that far off. Though. I wasn't that far off. I think the timing of when you take this, because I did something that then meant you could take that. Yeah. Do you know what it was? Is it was the building the, I built, I didn't realise it, it flipped It was going to flip it over. Yeah, yeah. I didn't realise. I didn't spot that. I was slightly... Um, one of these that I wanted to build, I then ha it then happened to get built automatically anyway. Yeah. I think it was a, a rep one when I was really low on rep. That one. Mm -hmm. um, and the town just built it. Thank and you. the town built it specifically... Because the next thing I needed to build had a yeah had a thing that built it. So. so we've been talking about the game. None of us have given our opinions on the game. Yeah. I thought I had. <laughs> I really like I it. I think it's clear <laughs> that we all enjoyed it. Yes. How much did we all enjoy it? It's hard to say. We're trying to set what like better than this game and not well, as good as that game. <laughs> we're, we're getting near the end of the year. Lots of content creators will be doing their top 10 games of the year, which I don't do because most of the games by the end of this year I will have played once. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't feel that me doing a top 10 at the end of the year is fair when you've only played a game once. But this is in the top 10. There's absolutely no question about whether it's in the top 10 or not. Um. I read through the rules yesterday and I'm trying not to be affected by all of the other people that have said how good it was, mm. but I can now see why all of the people say it's as good as it is. It feels quite streamlined. Mm. There's a couple of fiddly bits with the symbols and the scoring and the scoring of the stars. Mm. I can see that. that, but the core, the core mechanisms of how these work with the Brilliant. population going up is interesting. Now, what I am curious about, because Skycroft said this in the chat, that our wood was, for most of the game, the yeah. wood was one, and we couldn't build a wooden building. Or at most two. And he said, I never saw that. But I can't see how you wouldn't see that, because these cards are always the same. So, it, it, unless... Is it because we both started with a wood... Guild token. Is is that what it is? Well, and because and we both, both we both built one and that moved two to the right mm. early in the me game. Me and you both had wood, but in theory sometimes people might not have the wood one. Were you kind of competing for it at the beginning? Really? Whereas whereas say for a sake for instance, I just managed to monopolize the silver. So there's always yeah, well, yeah, that's in a three player. You got game. one eventually, yeah. but for quite early on the silver was high priced because I was the one making it. Always two players wanting the wooden buildings in a three-player game on every yeah. card. It's always two of those. There's a variation in other things, like there's always two people wanting silver, but some of them have two people wanting scribes, some of them only have one. Yeah, in a three-player game, building your unique building and messing around with that, I think it's really important because I was getting like 40 points food. Yeah. 40 income. Yeah, so it... it I don't know. It seemed like, yeah, and I don't know if that's unusual that our our wood was quite often one, which meant these buildings costing 12, eh, but then all of a sudden it goes to two, oh, 24. Yeah. There's a big difference. Very, very big difference. Yes, and I guess if you're used to the higher price, then then a, the step is less as well, right? It made the it, mind it's really getting it 50% more. Mines uh, were super cheap because it was one as well. Mines were super cheap, so a lot of things were all, were, were mm. quite cheap. Pessa is, uh, is saying that you have the wood produ production building in the city, but it's your decision if you will not yeah. build those and the but price you, is much higher. if you don't build yeah. it, then one third of your board is not going to be... Yeah, but we... maybe not build it early on. Mm. Is you it know. a problem that the wood was cheap? Though? Oh, no, it's not. I, it's yeah. just... Because, I mean, that's where people I got my People in the chat seemed to think it was unusual, mm. and I was thinking, well... Like, you know, Petter seems to think it is. That moved okay. me one, two, three, four reputation equivalent of those two wooden buildings. Yeah. Yeah. But again, if you put that wooden building at the top, top. you might you yeah, might not have it. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. No. I I I think it's excellent. I think it's very very good game. Yeah. I think it's really interesting. Um, does it do something different? I think so. Mm. 
I love all the mechanics. Yeah. I uh, certainly. This is the one that stands out, obviously. Obviously, this stands out. This is the USP for the game. Yeah, but I, I really all like the other stuff's good. I really like all of this as well. I like the 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 way that the buildings all interplay. Yeah, it's it's lovely. Yeah, and the card action. This is so simple. Here's six cards. Choose choose an action. Yeah. Mm. It's so simple, but it it's it's restrictive, but not punishingly restrictive because mm-hmm. you've got the Joker. Yeah. Joker can really help you out, but it's that really interesting. And like you said at the start, yeah. you could plan your five turns for the round yeah. and sort of have to. Yeah, but you might have to react to what other people do. Yeah, and that's what actually on my last round, that is exactly what I did. I had the yeah, you and, knew which and, and then you know, at one point I said, okay, da, 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 rotate yeah. a bit more, that's better. But, um, the other thing that I like about the game is that we've not done everything, no, you know, I. I've unlocked six buildings out of 12. I did do a lot of mining, but you could focus on mm. a particular row. Yeah. So it's it's always we, a great thing in a game where you can say, I want to do it this way this time compared yeah. to I want to do it that way. If and I had more time, I'd, 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 I'd use these and I'd try and get mm. that on there. Yeah. Did one get in in the end? Oh, yeah, but I didn't bother doing it because no, it would have been the same points for everybody. Exactly. Because yeah. we all flipped over to Pelicans. Yeah. Uh, regarding regarding these cards, I think the only thing that I initially was a, getting a bit confused by was trying to keep track of them all, because you tend to hold cards like, like that. Like that, right? I only see the top. Exactly. Um, but I got used to it. I, yeah. So I don't think that's a, a big issue, but it's I think that's the that's the main issue for beginners, as far as I can see, just yeah. getting the hang of cards have two ways up. So, yeah, I mean... I. I used to do a lot of work with Check Games Edition over the years. I've had no involvement in this game. I didn't test it. I didn't work on the rule book. I've not done so. I'm completely unbiased as to what this is. But I think the designers have done a, have done a very good job. I don't know how long it's taken to design it. Um, but I think CG have done a really good job with the production value as well. Yeah, and as I say, these re, this re-wood, I really hope other publishers get this game and go, oh, wait a minute, what's this? Mm and start finding out and i think i'm hoping that over the next year or two we're going to see more publishers starting to use this rewood mm. as an alternative to plastic because it is it's really good really really detailed can we have a look at the event four cards years there, we can have a look at the event cards there. so these are the event cards so just as a reminder okay. you must use these cards with two players uh where can i put this that will be nice and zoomed in can we uh, move your put it on here Okay. So, event cards. Event cards. Right, so they are used in games with two players. They are optional in games for three or four players. You've got A's and B's. I'm around the side because I can't read it outside it. Um, (laughs) So the events will... Sometimes increase the population, sometimes increase the ore deck. But other than that, they do what they say on them. Mm-hmm. And yeah, you can use them in a four player game. And when do you do them then? Um, yeah, when do you do them? End of the round? Start of the round? <laughs> Let's have a look. I'm sure it says somewhere in the rule book where where you do them. Try and find the answer before I, I get told in the chat. I imagine it speeds the game up a bit again. Each round, except the last, will have an event. Yeah. The rounds after... So you've got uh, the rounds before the Red Patrician use the A events. The rounds after use the B events. Uh, reveal one. Reveal the round one event now before round one begins. Oh, so they actually go above the the round board. Ah, very nice. Yeah. So they go above that. So yeah, you you can use these if you want. I I wouldn't recommend them for your first game because I think you've already got enough stuff to think about. Yeah. But possibly once you've played it a couple of times. If you want the game to be a bit quicker, it might be good. There's stuff so like they, they you know you get an the... extra pelican token or whatever. Right. 
Yeah. Possibly. Right, before we wrap up, just a reminder about the contest. Oh yeah, I need to have a go. Yeah, enter <laughs> the contest. I've, I've even forgotten what the questions are. But you now have... You now have enough information to be able to enter the contest. And you two can enter the contest as well. Um, yeah, all you need to do, fill in the questions in the form. And put your name, put your email address. And you will get an entry into the hat. If you are one of my Patreon supporters, as a thank you from me for helping make these videos possible, you get two entries into the hat for every correct answer. I will do the draw in two or three weeks' time, and uh, I will let CGE know, and they will send you a copy of the game. I think they said they don't have any at the moment, but as soon as there's another print run, they will send you a copy of the game. So yeah, good luck to everybody for, uh, for, the, for the contest. And again, thank you to CGE. Uh, for supporting the channel with um, with the copy of the game. Uh, thank you very much to Peter for being in the chat and to everybody else who has kept us honest and caught the little the little things that we got wrong uh, during the game. I think we got the rules pretty much mostly right. Yeah. It was more just little things that you generally forget. It's interesting because doing these live streams, every time I do a live stream, somebody in the chat spots a mistake that somebody makes. How many games are being played around the world <laughs> where people are making mistakes all the time and nobody spots yeah. it? It can't just be the live plays that I do. It must it must be happening everywhere all the time. <laughs> uh, right, we're all done. That's the end of another week. Uh, if you are interested, earlier on today we did a playthrough of The White Castle. Thank you very much uh, for that. If you're interested in that, you can join me on that. Uh, Peter's also sent a super chat. Thank you very much, Peter, for the super chat. All of the super chats and in fact all of the advertising revenue from this video goes to charity. It's been a thing that I've always done on the channel. Uh, so yeah, all of that goes to charity. So thank you very much. I don't know what the charity is for this month. Uh, it's probably Disaster Emergency Committee or something like that with everything that's going on in the world at the moment. Um, but yeah, all of my advertising revenue every month goes to charity. Uh, and again, thank you to my Patreon supporters for uh, making that possible. I'll be back next week with some more videos. I can't remember exactly what next week. Where are we? What's the date today? Next week is the 3rd of and November. Seven, which was going to be Perseverance, but it's now not. So next Sunday, I'm going to be doing Perseverance. Uh, but next Friday, I don't quite know what I'm going to do yet. I'll decide this weekend. But it'll probably be another of the new Essen games. Um, but yeah, thank you to you two for joining me. Yeah, thank, thank you to everybody for watching. We'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.